Nice shirt, bud. Yeah, man. I saw it at the old Ross, and I said, you know what? I, I support everything that's on this short shirt. You know, I like Baltimore. I like transsexuals. I like the gays. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. Minorities in there. A lot of people are just listening, so... For all they know, it's like the Baltimore skyline and mm-hmm. then a guy blowing a trans woman on your shirt. It's actually an Under Armour shirt with the trans. Let me see that. I, that I got recent. this because I knew you would love it, Danny Mullen. I said, oh, Danny's going to love this shirt, dude. I'm going to wear it. What do, what do trans and gay people have to do with Under Armour? I don't know. What do they have to do with it? It's just I don't know. And so Baltimore? What about what about the, what, why is Baltimore on it, dude? It's just like hey, there's a lot of gays and trans <laughs> and Bal- Baltimore's got a lot of these, and they like Under Armour. I don't get it. What does it even mean? It, it's really like the the, <clears throat> the circles of potential buyers for that shirt is gets narrower and narrower. Yes, that's why it was in a Ross, dude. That, that's why it ended up where no one, where everything yeah. goes that doesn't sell. Yeah, yeah, Ross. Yeah, yeah. It's that's insane. You got to be a an athletic transsexual cocksucker who lives in maryland <laughs> to want this thing i know, I know a couple dude it's either they that or, or leo de tavia <laughs> or you gotta be leo de tavia or, or, or for this leo de, yeah for a, 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 a podcaster that does it satirically but dude what the fuck you know what, what else was there i got another shirt that absolutely no one would ever buy and then I, as soon as i purchased it and i walked outside i was like i'm never gonna wear it i don't know why i did that uh-huh. a midriff uh-huh under armor oh. fucking the rock shirt the rock has a midriff shirt that oh. he sells and it kind of looks like something a 1980s football player was and in my mind i was like those guys were dope i i bought it i went outside and i was like i'm never gonna wear it if you wear that shirt leo uh-huh. i will say you show up to one of our shoots 9 a.m my house you'll show up i'll come down the stairs i might stop walking down the stairs maybe drop the bag i'm holding mm-hmm. but i'll keep it together i'll be like oh cool 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 shirt man Three weeks later, unannounced, I will just kick you in the face on the podcast, though. <laughs> It'll be a ticking dude. time bomb. I'll push the mic. And just, just whack, dude, out of nowhere. Yes. I'll do. I will. <laughs> I might just. Will I be distracted? If I like I'm on my phone, that's like a, that's a crime. If you at least give me the chance to react to it. No. Just I, keep my chin will down. Will it make any difference? <laughs> If Leo, quote unquote, has a chance to defend himself against the great Danny Mullen, <laughs> will it make any difference? Dude, I, you know, I, don't I would so. deserve it. I would deserve wearing that shirt. I, I admit there's some things that are too gay, even for me. What would and, you do if I was like, Leo, I'm going to kick you in the face. What would you do? You did? To, if I said that I'm going to kick you in the face and then strangle the life out of you. Jesus. What would be your policy for preserving your life? I mean, I'm going for, uh, you know, I mean, I'm going to use my weight against you and i'm going to try to get on top of you but then i'm just going to like crush your nuts you have a huge nut sack and it's it is true. a liability it is and the thing is i, if I get a hand on it it's over i'm sure you'd like that <laughs> given the shirt you're wearing i'm sure you'd love that. <laughs> yeah you no, know that. i'm getting a grab that nut you're so right about this who the hell did they think they were going to sell this to and also it's the under armor logo <laughs> which it looks it's the under armor logo it's a it's a dumbbell pretty much it's shaped yeah. like a dumbbell yeah. the trans side is equal <laughs> to the entire rest of the gay pride flag that we've had since like 1967 yeah it just seems like the hey we're the new guys <laughs> That was the sound of a guy cutting his dick off. It's, it seems like they're getting a lot of real estate on the logo. Yeah, suddenly. dude, definitely. And I, I, just, I just love the black and brown people, too. It's well, like, that's Leo. He gets to rep that. Where the, where's good. the black and brown? Right there. Oh, yeah. Leo, you get to fucking wear that shirt, dude. You're brown. It's not even a great design because you, you the, yeah, the black kind of really disappears with the rest of the shirt. It's such... I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah, I think there was a, a Google phone that came out during a Super Bowl ad that was trying to solve that problem <laughs> when... It was like, did you know your phone is racist? <laughs> and then, like, it showed a lady fucking getting photographed in a dark room, and she was a person of color, mm. and she disappeared into the background. <laughs> well, the, the, the great minds at Google have solved phone racism for life. That was, that it was really, it was at the height. It was at the height of all of this when everybody was still scared. I think it was the 2020s, 2022 Super Bowl, rather. It was Rams versus Bengals. And it was before BLM was tweeting the paragliders and kids were on campuses saying, kill the Jews. Mm -hmm. And everybody was still scared shitless and thought like the diversity coordinators at every company knew what they were talking about and had a point. And every Super Bowl ad, it, it was either your camera phone is racist or Larry David trying to sell you FTX. 
That was the Super Bowl for a while. That was where we were as an empire in 2022. And what? And do you think it's changed now? Or will we just as soon as these kind of these wars kind of, I don't know, they look like they might be going on for a while. But if they whenever they subside, do you think we go back to this? I think it's for me personally, it was so new just the ferocity of the cancel culture and the backlash that I, th- I think you had to, um, I don't know, sort of like a homeless guy with a machete. You don't endorse what he's doing, but you kind of like respect it a little bit. Cause like this, this guy could fucking cut my leg off, you know? Yeah. But now I think that since these people have outed themselves recently, it's like, fuck this guy. If he gets anywhere near me, I'm going to mace him, steal the machete and then chop his head off. Mm. And I don't, I, that sounded like I'm going to threatening violence. What I'm saying is I don't respect the fucking, the, the intersectional fucking coalition anymore. Yeah, yeah. No, and the I, fucking ideology. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. And we're, you know, you got to give us a break because we, we are around many different people and we get influenced sometimes. Well, but you're, yeah, you're an LGBTQ person of color. No, Look fine, at your shirt, man. dude. You know, the good thing is I can, yeah, I, you know, that's what I mean. I'm very like, uh, my views can change depending on the situation, who's around. Yeah. Who's going to blow Depending on me. what girl you're trying to who's get gonna to blow, blow you. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, I mean, if, if, if she's in her 50s, he can talk to her about Frank Sinatra. Yeah. If she's in her early teens, he can talk to her about TikTok. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to say Why late teens. Why would you say early say teens? Late teens? Why would you say early teens, man? It's just like you <laughs> don't she's in her tweens. To... I'm sorry. God, that, damn it, That was dude. a cough. Leo is, I'm fucking joking. If the yeah. girl is in her early 20s, you can talk to her about how Zac Efron was great in High School Musical. Yeah, and like now he's he's done a little bit too much plastic surgery. If I ever do, it could just roast me really bad on the pot. If I ever get something done, and you're like, "Did you get Botox?" That'd be a great bit. If you dude, got hell like, Botox. no, dude, and you're like, "Dude, move your forehead." I'm like, "No, I'm not gonna move my forehead, dude." <laughs> Is it, can you do that? Can we move our foreheads? I guess so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You you have phenomenal skin, dude. It has to be the basque in you, man. And you know, I was thinking this. Because I've been really on this peso pluma, like just being. Hey, dog, peso pluma. Hey. Dude, dude, when you were doing that accent, it's kind of similar to how he actually talks. Oh. You, <laughs> I won't say what you called him on the uh, on the Patreon pod. Subscribe to the Patreon pod. Dan, Danny's back, and he said some crazy shit. I don't about even peso remember pluma. what I called him. Uh, you called him. You said he speaks like a certain kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what you said. Uh, but anyway, I've been on this grind. So I've been like, I pull up some of his music's only on like YouTube. Like actually Saltine showed me some of his songs that he like does freestyles to on YouTube. So he's got some good stuff, dude. The reason why you look so much like him and dude, it's even his nose. He literally has your nose. Yeah. Very much your facial structure. It's yeah. cause he's probably a Mexican from Spain and ba- yeah. the Basque region. You guys yeah. might have similar. And DNA. Julian Casablancas, my other celebrity doppelganger is also Spanish dude, too. Every, you guys are all from the same region. We're homies, dude. We gotta get a, <laughs> We gotta have dinner. Hey, so <laughs> and Julian, if you're listening, that'd be the best dude. Just like, an, just like an, an old rock star womanizer. And I love Julian Casablanca. Dude, but he got divorced to get more pussy. Oh, yeah, he did. He's the man. <laughs> We've, I've heard stories about Julian Casablanca yeah. using sob stories. Oh, to yeah. Get, he's get the pussy. man. He's the man. I love his music. He's the, and then Peso Pluma. I don't know anything about him. I, I don't understand a word he says. No, I guess, dude, he's, he's even historically significant for the Mexicans, though, because he brought this kind of music that it wasn't really popular into the mainstream to the young people called corridos. This is all stuff Saltine's been telling me, by the way, but I did look it up and it's true. Um, but um, uh, I, that's a good policy with Saltine. Yeah. You got to look it up. You got to go right to the internet after he says anything, <laughs> but, uh, but not, it would be interesting. Who do you think would bring the biggest entourage of the three? Because you got to, I mean, I would convince you to bring an entourage. I'd be like, bro, listen, Julian's going to bring an entourage for sure. Yeah. And Peso definitely is bringing an entourage, oh, including dude. security. So I was like, who are you bringing? I mean, if it's the year 2001, maybe yeah. Julian Casablancas would win that competition. Yeah. But right now it's all Peso, dude. Dude, Peso's coming in big. Of dude. the three of us, it's like, well, <laughs> me and Julian Casablancas are neck and neck. Just kidding. He's a... <laughs> Fucking probably at like ten million dollars and many gold yeah, records in the but, bank. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, peso is gonna have us all beat right now. Mm. But um, you know, Julian, dude, Julian Casablancas. Yeah, fucking, man, was he kind of like a childhood hero to you? Would you say? Uh, no, I, I got into the Strokes when I was like in college. Oh, okay, he's um, 
It's just that he writes good songs, and he looks like me, so I root for him. Yeah, you just like when guy. you see a guy with a broom sweeping up outside a Target, you root for him because he looks like you. Yeah, if, if there's a guy <laughs> with a broom that looks like me outside a Target, he is, dude. They call him the walking dick because he's getting every, oh, he's getting all the pussy at Target, dude. Yeah, if this guy's if if he's just like you know what I would do if I was sweeping at Target, bro, I would cut the sleeves of the fucking overalls. Yeah. I would cut them up to make them like just sexier. And then I would just be hair down all day. Mm. Every mother coming into that target. I'm saying hi to. Yeah. Every big titty Latino chick who works at the cash register. You are hanging out with after, And she's going to have to get a babysitter, but you are hanging out with her. And it's going to be convenient too, because you know where the first date's going to be the target parking lot. (laughs) It's going to be right next to that satellite, like surveillance trailer that they bring in with cameras on it. And that's also going to be your eventual undoing, ah. getting sucked off by the the Latina cashier oh. right next to the satellite <laughs> security unit. Security's going to bring me in. HR's going to bring me in and just show me the video. And you're like, is this, is this you? I have to do what Armin did and just completely deny it's me when it's obviously me. Why, I'm like, no, it's not, it's not me. Why? Are, it's for, we don't believe that, first of all. But why are you screaming during Climax? Um, I don't know who that is screaming, but it's not me, actually. So why did you why did you come all over her Raiders air freshener? Hmm. That's uh, <laughs> I don't know why the person did that, but that was a foul move of anyone because that Raiders air freshener is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Would you get blown by a Latina cashier with a Raiders air be freshener? A dream, dude. Be a dream. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a dream, dude. Get blown by... Oh, that'd be the best. I, I, unless... You know, they give me some anxiety. Getting blown by... Fed, there he is. Fed. Oh, the fed walk by. Every make pod. His walk by. His, oh, he's such a great guy. Oh, is, you're the is. man, Fed. He gets hot chicks, dude. You gotta respect that. He gets that. hot chicks, and he's the man. Dude. And he walks by the podcast every yeah. episode. Yeah. Leo, continue. Thanks, Fed. You're the man, dude. Stop by sometime. I think that of... You know, there's hookups that bring on a little bit of anxiety afterward. For example... Crazy girls get blown or have the sex with them. You kind of know they're crazy on you know going into it. Yeah. But if you do it anyway, because you often do, then you're a little worried. Yeah. That gives a little anxiety. One of the anxieties that I, I used to get was the older Latinas because they will just lie to you about having like the scariest husband in the yes. world. Like yes. you'll have no idea. This girl, this woman throws herself at you. She blows you. And then uh, she adds you on Instagram, starts putting all these hard eyes on your pictures. Yeah. And you look at her Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And literally fucking Danny Trejo yes. is her goddamn husband. Oh, don't worry about that fool. He be spending all of our money on lottery tickets and shit. Don't worry about him. <laughs> That's so funny. They will they will talk bad about him like that. He's just a drunk. He doesn't do shit yeah. around the house. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. That's the problem is guys can, and it's race is irrelevant. Guys can. Like, I, I, I talk to some guys, they're like, yeah, my chick's a stripper, or, you know, my, my chick's got this great corporate gig, and I, like, you know, fucking do freelance carpentry a couple times a month. It's great. She pays the bills. I just kind of tidy up. That sounds great, but she will blow a guy eventually who looks like Leo, mm. and she will drop some hard eyes on a picture that hopefully I'm in, too. Hopefully uh, yeah, I think I'm in are. the picture also. I think they are. They and are. hopefully no. I get to coast in off this <laughs> and maybe, like, jerk off to it through a window. <laughs> Dude, uh, your weakness for big titties is still hilarious to me, man. You know, you know I'm I mean? over big titties. You think so? I think I could formally declare that I am over big titties. Got it out of your system finally? I, I Here's why. Because the you wanted to go back to Barstow for a pair of, of titties, dude. That And she had three kids. She had three kids that you live in Barstow, and you were like, you know what? I'm taking her out. I'm going back <laughs> there. And I'm like, dude, they were huge. They were huge. But listen... The, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think you might have been hallucinating. I think you were dehydrated <laughs> in the desert heat. I am over big titties for this reason. I've recently taken the approach to um, life, and that includes women. I look at it like a stock market investor. I'm in it for the long term, mm-hmm. Leo. Okay. And who are the sexiest women that you see who are in their 40s and their 50s? They are the ones who don't have giant tits. Mm-hmm. They are just in shape. They jog. They lift. They do Pilates. Mm-hmm. And they have modest athletic physiques not freakish circus sized titties that does not age well. that's like investing in amc or whatever fucking dino dino probably has all of his net worth in shiba inu i think he likes that'd be like doge he's he's still still, he's still on doge the the original you know pump and dump are you dino do you actually <laughs> do you seriously just nod your head yes because you're off mic do you seriously have any dogecoin or shiba inu i do do you 
Why? Oh. See, and I know you have like zero Bitcoin or any relevant asset, but you have Shiba and Doge. Like in like 2018, 2019, I downloaded a Dogecoin miner on my computer and I mined maybe like 300 Dogecoin. I still have it. What is this? What is it about you that whatever is like the... So the most logical thing to invest in would be stocks and bonds. One step past that is tech stocks and crypto. A little riskier, but still completely valid. You have to go like way out into left field with shit that's just like borderline retarded to invest in. AMC, GameStop, Shiba, Doge. Like ApeCoin. You bought ApeCoin when it came out. How did that go? How did that go, Austin? ApeCoin didn't do well. <laughs> and neither <laughs> Shiba and Doge. Okay, so every other crypto right now is pumping, but Shiba and Doge are still just... Eventually, they'll just be like, what? They'll, they'll just disappear, the list. Well, he's holding out for maybe because Elon is trying to make X into a financial services platform too. His original app that made him money, he started with something called Zip2, which was, I believe, some sort of payment processor. And then he had X, which merged with PayPal. They both essentially did the same thing. So he's had this vision for a financial platform for a very long time, but now he wants to run it on the blockchain. He wants to run it with crypto. Oh. And it people theorize it's going to run on Doge or Shiba Inu. So Austin, I could be completely wrong. It might pump, but in the meantime, invest in something decent as well. Okay, Technically, yeah. I didn't spend any money. I was just ripping my yeah. dad's electricity bill. Hey, okay, well, that's not the, the worst thing. What's up, guys? Wanted to take a break from the podcast for a second to tell you about another phenomenal product that we're sponsored by, Harry's. All right, they offer uh, not only lotions and creams for your face to keep your skin amazing, but also a razor that is phenomenal. It's one of those, it's, it's got that weight on it. You know what I'm saying? They gave me one. It's orange. It's kind of look, looks cool. It's got that weight on it. And, you know, I shave for the ladies, if I'm being completely honest. I want a, a solid neckline. I want this right here from, like, the end of your kind of sideburn to, the, to this point right here and then up right here. This is where a lot of razors get me. They'll cut me. Harry's smooth as a whistle. Against the grain, with the grain, didn't matter. It's a great razor. Also, the shaving cream is phenomenal, but it's it's a product that's also very affordable. And that's what I'm going to tell you guys about, because it's kind of a no brainer, if I'm being honest. Get your best shave ever with Harry's razors and skincare products. Get a $13 starter set for just $3 at harrys.com slash LDS. Come on, guys. And they'll give you your money back if you're not happy with it. All right, so it's guaranteed. But really, you don't want to try it for three bucks, dude. Tell me getting fresh razors and shaving cream and lotions every month for a small fee isn't a great idea. It's one of those habits like you pay for all these subscriptions, but which ones add to your, which one's going to help you get more ladies? The, sh the shaving kit that you're getting every month, you jerk. So focus up. Listen to this one more time. Get your best shave ever with Harry's razors and skincare products. Get a $13 starter set for just $3 at harrys.com slash LDS. That's harrys.com slash LDS for a $3 starter set. Come on, go get it. It's a great razor. But can we say, I think me and Danny, one of the great regrets of our lives is, is not putting in some money in the stock market when we were your age. Would you agree with that? Like if somebody would have, if a guy's like me and you talk to yeah. us when we were 23 and like, listen, you idiots. Yeah. You put a thousand dollars in now, 10 years later, when you're not even really that old, when you're 33 yeah, and you're in the prime of your life, getting the most pussy, you might like the 50 to a hundred thousand that may be, you know, whatever. It's just, it's got to go up. You guys should put in some money now in the stock market and forget about it yeah. until you're my age. And you are going to say, Hey, Pablo Leo, thanks for that. It just, Here's the problem, I think, is 
It sounds complex. We say it put does. money in the stock market, and they're like, what the fuck does that mean? Right. Do I have to go to Manhattan and no. wave $20 bills at a guy with a clipboard? <laughs> That's it, what we used to think. That's what it was. It was like, what the, What do we do? How do we do it? How do we do? I have yeah. to go to the bank and like look at some yeah. guy who's going to treat me like an idiot for five hours? No, no. You just you can download an app. You can invest in an index fund and put a little bit of money that the index fund, you invest in it, and it puts money evenly across a broad array of stocks. Just yeah. the S&P 500 is what it's called, the top 500 companies in America. It's a great idea. That said, only 2% of people will do it because how many people in our orbit, Leo, have we told, like, hey, don't drink every night. Yeah. Don't smoke weed the first thing when you get up every morning. Hit the gym every now and then. Get a job. Yeah, yeah. Stop talking to girls about QAnon and Pizzagate. Mm. But they never fucking listen. They Leo. never fucking they listen. They never fucking Dude, listen. That's, it's, that that was, last one was you, asshole. That was day one, too. That was day one, and they still do it. Dude, you're right. Dude, that's it, hilarious. It's, and I here's why I'm not judging, because when I was in my 20s, when I was in college, I think I was 21 at UCLA, a guy came in and gave us a presentation on why we should, whatever, save up some of the fucking birthday money your parents send you and put it into a Roth IRA, S&P 500 index fund. Yes. He told me that, and I just went, duh, I'm going to get pussy this weekend. Same thing. I think I heard it too, and it, it seemed more complex at the time, but we didn't have apps and shit to make it easier that back then either, though. Yes. I... I I get it, though, to the guys who are in their 20s and they're, they just, they're not finding any time to invest, any money to invest. They're a bunch of credit card debt. I fucking get it because I was there. Yeah. But just know that someday shit's going to snap into place. Yeah. And hopefully that's early and you can do it. Yeah. Oh, you got to do it early. Oh, my God. Is this Rat Dick Ralph and his brother? Dude, Rat Dick Ralph and his brother. I had to bring him back, obviously, because Danny wasn't here last Oh, week. he's got a rat in it. I thought that was his real penis. No, this is his new getup, dude. So, I mean, how many... You're, you're off mic, so I can't hear you. Sit down, both of you, please. Um, let me tell you about his getup before he has a chance to, because he's not going to... His sentences aren't going to be as uh, concise as mine. But basically, he wears that mankini... That cutoff shirt and any, I guess he changes the pants with the rat. He puts like that rat like toy inside of his pants. This is his new getup. He, he brings the rat everywhere. It. Brings the rat everywhere. <laughs> he does not wash the mankini. He's never Very washed. Wait, so, so he, yeah, he's okay. wearing a Borat mankini. He's yeah. wearing a, a ratic custom. It appears vest. RPP got it for him. Lumberjack yeah. vest. It's kind of cool. He's wearing a, uh, it, it's not a pride flag styled headband. It's more just psychedelic hippie ice psychedelic. cream truck. Talking to the front of the mic, Radic? And then yeah, he's the, got, was his maps, brother here last time? No, this is, no, this is the first time on the podcast, Rat Dick Ralph's brother. And his his brother looks like what Rat Dick could have been. Yeah. But I'm very uh, worried that he might be being sucked into the lifestyle. Correct. <laughs> I have already for, screenshotted a, 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 a uh, I guess it was it was a v video, but you were feeding him the rat dad. Well, let's let's yeah, describe I, real quick. Let's describe real quick. His brother has a an av a regular guy haircut. Yeah, he's wearing a Vans t shirt. He has a, some bracelet. His jeans are a little dirty and wrinkly. His shoes are a little dirty, but he looks like a guy who would be in your community college communications class. Correct, and like exactly. maybe yeah. maybe you'll <laughs> participate and do well every now and then. You you might cheat off the test. Like I I might sit. Next him and cheat off the test. Well, I've been dying to see his cock, Danny, and he he got this gun to weld me off because I've been showing him my cock, you know, extremely like constantly. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Because I just yo, right, yo little rat dick, Jr. Let me show you my rat dick. You Do know? it right now. Let's see. How yeah. old is this guy? Should I, should I How old is he? Cock, How old is I'm twenty years old. Okay, let's let's show him some dick, dude. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> This is fucked is up. Is it, <laughs> have you missed this, Danny boy? Or, uh, yeah. are, oh, dude, that's look at it. Dude. Dick. That's oh, my dick boy. Hey, it's looking decent dude. right now. Yeah. It's yeah. That's decent. It's got a little hang, dude. It's what got a little think? hang. What do you think, Ratchet Jr.? I mean, usually it, it is <laughs> flush with his pubic bone. You're right. It's like the top yeah, of yeah. the thumb, top of my yeah. thumb. Like this part of my thumb yes. is what it usually looks like. I mean, if you want a visual. Dude, sometimes it's flush, Leo. Right there, Sometimes there's no thumb. Sometimes there's no thumb. It's like this. Dude, sometimes you could like. It's like a clip. You could take a 
straight razor and just shave down his pubic bone and it would not cut his penis off. Wow. It goes inside. It's a, it's a meerkat. It brings you so much joy, the rat dick, doesn't it's it? It's a prairie dog. <laughs> I've been wondering if rat dick Jr. has a smaller penis than me. What do, you, do you have a smaller penis than me or is it bigger? Like, be honest. I honestly don't know your penis size. You just, didn't you just see it? He I closed his eyes. Bro, oh. Let's see your dick, dude. I know you. I'm not pulling it out. I'm sorry, Dan. I like that. That's a good answer. It is a good answer. It's the non rat. I've it's been the trying non-RDR. to tell him, send Danny a soft pick and a hard pick. Just do it, like right off the bat. Or your dad, for that matter. Yeah. Because he's dad, done that, too. If, if you're new to the, by the way, if you're new to the today. podcast, we have this guy, Rat Dick Ralph, who is just a giant loser. And we have him on our pod. I wouldn't say that. Okay, well, well, I'm an achiever. You, I've achieved much. Time, we have him on our pod from time to time because he's kind of like just, he's an experiment at this point. He's a full time psychonaut, dude. There we go. Cheers. You could describe him as a full time psycho not, but he's also responsible for some of the greatest videos in the in the channel history. I'd say honestly, and some we, of the great videos. And we need yeah, to film more, another one. And up. are you going to be available this weekend, ready? You know, uh, I've been trying to talk to my brother about that. I told him you would give us some dough so he could extend his flight, but he uh, really is set and go on this road trip this weekend. So is Rat Pussy Pam. I don't, I don't know if I'm be able to make it this weekend with with little Rat. Wow, dude. dude, this it, is. It, why don't we just meet you wherever you're going? How far are you going? Uh, well, where we we might be driving up to the Redwoods. That's the thing. Like, How far is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Redwoods yeah. are like four, six hours. We might seven. go to Yosemite, but you okay. know, like, should uh, we just go with them? I think so. Should <laughs> we just tag along? Can we come? Yeah, you can. You can squeeze in the. We're taking an electric car, so you can squeeze it. Oh, we're not going. To I refuse. Car. Yeah, no, I refuse. We're gonna follow from a safe distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. But can we come on the Rat Dick family vacation? Yeah, yeah we'd we we love that. That'd be sick. Why don't we pick a location that's not that far where you guys maybe could like go camping or something? I mean, there's some great spots in like Santa Barbara and stuff. You know what I mean? Like you could camp by the beach. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I don't, who's I don't. paying for the gas or the electricity? Oh, we rented an electric car and it was only two hundred bucks. Who's was, paying for that? Oh, I'm, I'm a Lyft driver, so well, I'm using Rat Pussy Pam's name and I uh, to drive. Rig, yeah, and I, I haven't got caught yet. Uh, Her name is Vivian, right? Yeah. So that they think you're just they think. Uh, well, I put a picture of me and I put <laughs> put Viv. You just so think you're trans. There yeah. you go. He says he's trans. I haven't got basically. any any complaints yet. Wow, no. this is. And people wonder why people are being raped in ride shares. This is why. Mm. This is the level of security that goes on. It'll, it's got to be a lift. Uber, I'm hoping, is tight. That's funny because a girl I know said like she that she was in, I don't think it was California, but she got raped by a, a lift driver. Oh, my. A it's, girl you know? No, her friend. Oh, fuck. So it's still we fucked up. We don't take what we want. But seriously, like he <laughs> dropped her off. She was hammered, and he just forcibly <sighs> raped her in the backseat, dude. Like really fucked up shit. This is... Uh, there's so much to talk about. I don't even know where to start, but that's one thing I do hear about is I hear a lot about girls getting hit on by Uber and Lyft drivers. That's the worst thing in the world, which is, and they always the sure than the sun rising in the morning is they always have a story about what they actually do. And, how like they're oh yeah it's just i just happen to be driving in this lift right now i'm bored and it, this is like my side gig it, yeah. it's my dad's card it's like right. his lift account and i was like i was actually just going to pick up like some money right i was gonna go pick up some money because Jesus. i i produced like the new drake album i produced a song and i'm picking that up right now and i just happened to grab you you want to yeah. hang out later on yeah, it's so crazy bro do you try to pick up bitches rat dick in the car well, I think most of them are afraid of me because they they, see, they think it's a female picking them up and they see a guy. Vivian is, an, is, a, Viv, is a James, Viv, is yeah. a name that could go either way. Just yeah. sort of like Skylar. It could go either way. Yeah, could, really could. And, you know, I, I, I talk with a, with a female voice when I pick them up. Oh, right? it's so scary. <laughs> that is like, scary. <laughs> Dude, it's terrifying. Yeah. It's, yeah and and you have the pentagram on your hand. You, you're, really you're, ah, you're I think you can see it. It's his right hand. It's his right hand. Danny, this, he, he's, he's a nightmare and a yeah, half. Most you're of my right. passengers just stay quiet. And I don't have to do 14 rides a week, so it's not too much to keep the car. So it's, I really don't get too many people in our Oh, so. it's one of those things. I yep. get what they're doing. So he has to work. My buddy did this. It ends up, they get so ripped, but it's what like people that with really bad credit have to do. So you work, Lyft will give you a car and charge you the uh, for a lease, but it's $200 a week, right? Yeah. So they're making yeah. 800 plus, you have to work that off, but they slow the clock down. So you got to do a lot, like 15 hours to make 800. That's actually not that bad. I have, I have to scam them. So I can't drive personal miles. So I have to turn the app on whenever I just want to drive around. <laughs> yeah. Whenever he wants to drive around, he turns <laughs> so the app to, on. I, my acceptance rate is like negative. You know, it's like, oh, 1%. you're going to get fired from that too. Wait, wait, wait. Why is this, why, uh, explain that again. Why is this acceptance rate negative? Well, <laughs> Okay, you, so the, your job is to pick up people when, you my, know... My food's here, Dino. Can you Dino, go get his mind? fucking food. Thanks, brother. So it, your job is to to work. So, like, when you're a Lyft driver, 
and there's people like, boop, boop, boop. Do you want to pick these people up? You have to click them. And if you just let them go, eventually they're going to, they'll fire you. Oh, so he just tries to accept as few rides as possible. Just trying to. You're definitely going to get fired for that. I think I'll last for. Uh, at least another week. This, I like this. I like that the <laughs> fucking that lift is getting in on predatory loans yeah. in this sort of uh, yeah. this feudal, like vassal surf relationship. Yeah, the gigolo had this uh, get up too because he did like some kind of scam when he was. Uh, he said this on the Patreon, but he he did like a scam. <laughs> some guy was like, "Hey man, like every now and then I'm just gonna put like." 15 grand into your bank account and then it's going to be gone in like five minutes but i'll leave you like 500 bucks can i do that from time to time and he was like yeah yeah fuck it that sounds great and then it was like a huge scam they were doing fraud and then he got implicated in it and then his credit score is like 300 Damn. so he has to do that to get a car dude like literally he had, to, he had to do that so he had the same deal as you but he told me they slow the clock down for you so that you have to work like 25 hours for the 800 What's up, guys? Wanted to tell you about Prize Picks, another sponsor of ours that is uh, loving what we're bringing to the table because you guys are loving it. So now this week, we're going to talk a little bit about basketball and football under the Prize Picks umbrella. First of all, I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's really easy to use. It takes like 60 seconds to put these bad boys in. Boom, you're in. You can win up to 25 times your money. All right. Now, it's the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. All right. The easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports with prize picks. All right. What I also like before I'm going to tell you my this week's picks, prize picks offers a reboot policy. Let me tell you this, what this is. Your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. Come on, man. That's that's pretty sick. If you're thinking about it, you know what I mean? In this, like, if you're, if you're playing, if you're playing daily fantasy sports and you have this kind of cool. All right. Uh, so what it is, is for football and basketball games. Now, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. Price picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform platform with injury insurance policy. They're the only ones that do this. All right, guys. So take advantage of it. Have a little fun. This week, I'm going to be picking Stephen Curry for more than 29 points and Nikola Jovic for more than 10 rebounds. All right? That's basketball. And for football, I'm going Joe Burrow for more than two passing touchdowns and Travis Kelsey for more than 75 receiving yards. That's all you do with prize picks. If you don't get it uh, at this point, you're a jerk. It's pretty easy to play. So... Go to prizepicks.com slash LDS and use code LDS for a first deposit match up to $100. Go to prizepicks.com slash LDS and use code LDS for a first deposit match up to 100 bucks. You put in 100 they put in 100 Kind of dope. All right, go check it out. Have some fun while you're watching football and have some fun while you're watching basketball. It's fun. See ya. Is that true? Well, I mean, I only need to make $200 a week to pay off the car, and then everything I make after that is my money. Yeah. So I haven't made it. I actually still owe $100, and they're just going to charge Rat Pussy Pam's card. Yeah, because he can't like, do the work, Dan. You haven't, you haven't done enough, right? You <laughs> can't even pick enough people up, bro. Rajik, yeah. are you sober when you drive these vehicles? <laughs> I have a bar of mushroom chocolate in the center console, and I'll just be eating little pieces off of it. I'm gonna be a, you're going to kill it. someone, and you're going to go to jail. If you get an accident and the person gets hurt <laughs> or dies, thing, you're dude. going to jail for the rest of your life. This is amazing. Do you know that? This Do you is, know that? This is absolute. Every time Rat Dick comes on, <laughs> gold, dude. It's Jeez. gold. Yeah. Last week, Danny, he uh, 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 Austin put some uh, some tickers for my how mom many is crimes. fine. By the way, Les, yeah, I yes. mom's no, fine. Mama Mullen is recovered. Day. She was out like pretty gnarly operation. Yeah, recovered, all good. And uh, now I can be here in the flesh with Rat Dick, and I'm so happy. So, dude, RDR last week uh, admitted to two crimes on the pod, and now the third one on this pod. He's admitted to multiple crimes, I think. Yeah. So far, I, uh, impersonating somebody else's identity. Oh, yeah, wait a second. That's four crimes. It's actually, you're asking little Rat Dick Jr. over here. Yeah, you here. showed him your penis. You're, yeah, you That's did. incest, one could it's say, It's also too. incest, yeah. Yeah, it is incest, yeah. So what yeah. were you saying, Leo, or what was Rat Dick saying? <laughs> What he oh, said last week? What he said last week? <laughs> oh yeah, what last week? Tell them the crimes that you've committed that you committed last week, dude. Maybe dude, you, you told should sum them the up pod. so they're fresh because the audience yeah. already knows. My memory is so. Maybe you should sum them up, Leo, just really quickly. Um, or do you not remember? Dude, either? I don't remember that he well. Sexually assaulted Lena oh, the plug. Oh, oh yeah, that's sexually right. Sexually assaulted Lena the plug. He did. He grabbed her ass without consent, Danny, a hundred percent, and admitted okay. that on the pod. Okay, well let's talk. I don't want to reveal too much. I'm not sure if you signed an NDA or I don't want to out. <laughs> but Adam, we've said this on the show. 
came to me needing some talent and I went into the bullpen and I pulled Rat Dick Ralph out for him for <laughs> Lena and Adam's new reality dating show. I understand. I don't want to give away too much, but this is very disconcerting to learn, Rat Dick, that you sexually assaulted a friend of mine's wife. Yeah, he did. I don't love that. I don't love that. I also heard that uh, one Crip Mac hates you. Mm. Yeah. And I heard, uh, so he, that is an active Crip gang member. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is yep. an, a dangerous enemy to make. And then I also heard that security had to pretty much chase you off the premises. Well, I wasn't, you know, I was, they told me you have to leave. Um, you lost the push up challenge. And I was very upset. I was like, why did you let this little black guy call the challenge? I'm Rat Dick Ralph. You know, this little black dude called a challenge. They wasn't, well, even, it's not reveal too much about yeah. the challenges. Yeah. So exactly, you know, and, but, I was just very frustrated when they asked me to leave and they had this guy follow me around and I just wanted to go and take some dabs and go get some more sandwiches out of the fridge and, you know, do my thing. You were there for the catering and the dabs. I was at, towards the end. I was, that's what, and then and there was a bottle of alcohol and I did get down to the bottle of alcohol. I, they, they had to pull that away from me. It was bad. And I was off the mushroom chocolates. And that's why I just lost control. That's, I cannot wait to watch that. Yeah, I was listening. I was listening. <laughs> it's funny because guys like Rat Dick, like back in the, the, uh, the 50s, the golden age, Hollywood, the 60s, you know, they would just hire somebody to follow a guy like Rat Dick around all day, knowing that he was going to kill it in whatever entertainment he was doing. He was going to kill it, but they would hire someone full time. The studios would be like, all right, do everything you want to do, but we're hiring a guy to make sure you don't get in trouble. Uh, you know, but, uh, I don't think Rat Dick would have thrived in 1960s Hollywood. I think the only times that Rat Dick could have made a good living in showbiz were in the vaudeville era that we just explored true. when there were freak shows and traveling circuses. And then now yeah. with the advent of the internet and reality tv <clears throat> i'd last last He's week i was pictures. you know last week i came to like this realization that he should be in the circus and he said his entire life people have been telling him that he should join the circus i think oh. he would be great in like a slapstick silent movie yeah, yeah. oh right. he'd be great dude they could bring you yeah. could be one of the three stooges Yo, this oh, yeah. and back so then small, but it stretches this long i mean they could have fucked the looney tunes in the car they could have dropped a real anvil on a real on, person that's what they would have done with rat dick <laughs> They would have shot him with a real cannonball, dude. And oh, my just, God. They would have killed him. Bro. Dude, you could have chased a roadrunner off a real cliff. Oh, do you ever look at the stunts from the, that era? They they were the greatest stuntmen of all time. Like Laurel and Hardy, those those comedians, they would, like, do stunt. They would jump off, like, trains going fast into, like, you know, these, like, makeshift balsa wood, like, things. But it was, like, intense. Damn. For sure, Rat Dick would have been thrown off a train or something, like, crazy. Rat Dick, you would have made... Probably not very much money at all. You might have died, but yeah, the, the glory. First. The yeah. glory. You would have been famous, man. You, like at a bar? Oh, dude, you would have killed it at bars. Everybody Rat would be watching your stuff. I got a ton of pussy, too. Rat Dick, so on the subject of pussy, would you beat up them cheeks when it comes to Lena the Plug? I was really hoping to become a porn star. And you Would know, you fuck the shit out of Lena the Plug? I was going to fuck the hell out of her, man. With my little small penis, I told Anna I wasn't going to stretch her out, and she'd be fine. Did Adam know? take that well? It, yeah, he was like, he kind of stayed quiet, but Lena was like, well, I want to fucking enjoy it. And that's when he was like, dude, I want to <laughs> fucking enjoy it is what she yeah. said. I, it's crazy that Adam, I can almost guarantee he would rather have dread fuck his wife than you. I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure he would not love to see me fuck his wife. No, because I think for him, what he's, he's less worried about the cock thing. He's got very good psychological armor with that. I think he's worried about you giving her a disease that can't be cured. Yeah, she's definitely gonna get some, some sort of rat disease. <laughs> yeah, you. you I, mean, I don't think you pass. I don't think you pass the test. I don't think you pass the, uh, the the STD test. You know, I've been. I might have HPV, might have hepatitis, but I'm pretty sure it's just hep HPV. You know, not hepatitis. That's good. I think it's HPV, hepatitis dude. is kind of crazy. You, you would know? have to be taking medication yeah. stuff for hepatitis. Yeah. I don't think you have hepatitis. Probably not. You see, yeah. Danny, last week he said fun, yeah. that. When you sent Rat Dig there, that Adam was under the impression that Mud Flap. That's was true. Coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R M Adam got Mud Flap and Rat Dig Ralph confused. <laughs> so he, I'm, I'm yeah. sure Mud Flap is furious that <laughs> Mud Flap was actually the guy. But yeah, but Adam said Rat Dig Ralph. I was with him. He just said, "Hey, give me Rat Dick Ralph." And we we're like, well, "That's what he wants." So okay, like that. <laughs> and he Fun. thought Mud Flap was. And Mud Flap is like Mud Flap. Love Mud Flap, but Mud Flap gets pissed when he's not invited to a yeah, shoot yeah, or like yeah, doesn't yeah. get his due. That's fine. So him missing out on Ooh. He wouldn't, dude. He he would have been great on there, but Rat Dick would did. I'm sure you did well too. I mean, he, both yeah. of them would have been really good on there. Do they need for that pilot episode? They need fucking straight fire during that pilot <laughs> episode, <laughs> and that was Rat Dick. That's what, yeah, what he brought. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I heard uh, Adam and Crit Mac are not in good standings anymore. I saw Crit Mac's uh, Instagram. Um, oh, really? Yeah, story. He was cussing. He was like, "I'm 22. When I see you, I'm gonna run a fade on 55th Street." 
He what? Goes, oh man, that was recently. Well, it sounds like as long as Adam doesn't go yeah. to Fifty Fifth Street, he's gonna be fine. You know, Adam, he said ha ha to the message, but maybe it's just because you know, Lena doesn't want to fuck Kurt Mac, and he got really upset. I'm pretty sure that's what happened because I got just as upset, and I. Do you, Danny, do you him, feel? But, see what I'm saying? Did it, one of the things I mentioned is he he has a strange kind of draw to Crip Mac Rat Dick. Do you like he, bring, Mac? he brings I, him up I every was, other sentence? Bro. I was kind of very excited to see him. I do have a slight obsession with him because. What if I told you that if you stayed in town this weekend, you can meet him? Really? He's gonna yeah. Be up the set. He's gonna be up the shoot. You know, can we do it on Friday then, or is it have to be this weekend? Maybe we could hit it on Friday. We might be able to hit it on Friday. Yeah. It's not could, a bad idea. The Redwoods after that. I have an idea for, a for well, I have an idea. Why don't we, uh, you know, hey, fans out there, and I know you're watching, if you paid for a little end bomb shout out from my boy Rat Dick over there, why don't you send them over to me? I'm going to make a little compilation. That maybe we'll get a projector. I know someone that has a projector. Don't you have a projector, Austin? <laughs> I didn't see where you were going with this. I like it. I like the drive. Austin, stuff. you have a projector, don't you? Yeah. Uh oh. Maybe we could have a little screening where we mm. all put tuxes on for a little <laughs> short film that we want to show Crip Mac. <laughs> Dude. Uh, uh. He's got and a, it's oh, just a compilation. Good thing here with his Nerf gun. Dude, oh. he's got a <laughs> just a compilation of him saying, oh, 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 oh. oh. I, we got to fucking, oh. I got to, I, I might have texted Crip Mac today, so we'll fucking see about this. Right? We'll, uh -oh. We don't want to say any more on the podcast, but uh -oh. um, <laughs> A little premiere, if you will. A huh? premiere, dude. It'd be funny with the Texas, dude. That'd be so funny. A little premiere, <laughs> dude. So hit Papa Leo with the, the Rat Dick Ralph yeah. N bomb videos you've, you got you've hoarded. Send them all over to me, guys. All Ooh. right. I know I know you guys are uh, I know <laughs> I know somebody out there has their hands on them, so send them over. And then you know what? Also just the penis show videos, the oh. shit videos. Hey, you know what? We're gonna put those in there. It's not too. just you guys that are mad about the end bombs <laughs> and the shit videos. The my drug dealers are furious. They're like, you know, we we very fucking uh, we we were in in the Black Lives Community Matter, you know. We you know what? You we, know what? Our Rad best Dick, friends are rappers. You ever since BLM <laughs> started shouting "Kill the Jews," I'm will it, You got a think of this as um, I'm trying to think of an analogy here. It's like you killed somebody, but the prosecutor and the lead cop on the case they planted some cocaine on you while you got arrested, and therefore everything got thrown out. Mm. BLM. Who was the? Who were the people keeping you down? They they've been thrown out now, so you are forgiven for your sins of towards, alleged racism toward, towards Crip Mac. Also, you are I mean, <laughs> not towards Crip Mac, <laughs> just towards. You're towards just you love black people though. I feel like you really. I know. Yeah, he never was racist. He was never no, racist. Never racist. No. He was I was trying just to make a buck. He was trying to make a buck. Yeah. You're dating a, a, a an obese woman of color. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's no, not, not obese, wow. but she's of color. You know, she's lost a lot of weight recently. She's doing real good, and you'll see her on this Friday. She'll be up there camping with us. <laughs> what, Leo? <layup. laughs> oh my! She's a beautiful God. woman. I you know. Just... <laughs> And Leo's had to take. He's having to take five right I, now. I just, <laughs> you know, it's just thank God. Rat we eat a lot of provolone. I she eats a lot of feta cheese from my penis. So. It's just that sentence muttered to someone, man. That is just like, like only. I feel like you and then like Donald Trump during like a debate would say that. But the, who else would ever say that sentence? You were dating an obese woman of color. I gotta make my mark. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, Oh I my her. god! I don't think she's obese. She is of color, and that makes me not racist. That's so. Agreed. Right? I, I totally agree. Ratik, do you? I heard your apartment. You don't have to go over us too much. I've heard it's it's worse than ever. Is that true? Before little Ratik came, it was kind of bad. It it wasn't too bad. Just the fucking shit and the dogs shit everywhere and the roaches come on the shit for some reason. Big. There's roaches now. Oh great, <laughs> little Ratik. Can you? You haven't spoken much. Can you please give us a level headed assessment of the cleanliness of the apartment? Uh, it's not the best apartment ever. He could do a little bit better. Just mm -hmm. buy some roach spray and maybe a mop, and then mop, mop it up a little bit. What, a, what kind That's of really a, a little RDR? What's your name? Do you want to? Or just, do you, call, just call me Ratic Junior. I like right. just a little Ratic. I like little, little Ratic's Rattic, nice. Yeah, yeah. little Ratic. Little Ratic. Listen, um, what kind of adjectives do your parents and family members use to describe adjectives? Your you mean brother, like he, him, or like, yeah, no, no. Like what kind yeah, of those like, are a, those are pronouns. Pronouns, yeah. Like, like you know, like like, like foul like, or like, yeah, yeah. Repellent, like, repellent or a loser. Like I said earlier, which is it was mean, but I was just I was being honest. Um, what what do you, what do they say about Rat Rat Dick in uh, your family? Oh, that's a, you know it's complicated. Really, most mm -hmm. of the family doesn't want to talk to him. And they just keep him out. Oh, okay, but her fuck is. 
Yeah, there's a few family members that... Would you say the videos that he's done with Danny has made things kind of worse? Is that part of it? Or is it just maybe because, you know, I don't know, like his Instagram. Like if they just check out his Instagram. Yeah, was, he kind of just posts a lot of shit everywhere. Yeah. But old people really don't understand that kind of stuff. Yeah. But you know, like most... You know what a lot of people, the Latinos are always worried about is like, oh, you're... You, you, it is so sad to go to be old and single and like you know what dude rat dick's got a chick so that's like one thing yeah, that he did it's good. like no matter yeah. no matter how fucking fucked up your life is if you have a significant other you're doing better than a lot of the population mm -hmm. i agree it's like owning a house yeah how fucked up can you be if you own a house correct rat dick has a chick who will stand by him which means He's doing something I'm right. I'm not sure what that thing is. Yeah. I think he I don't eats, know what he's doing either. He eats Hershey chocolate out of her asshole. Yeah. And he uses it as lube when he fucks and her. Sorry to tell you that a little and, and occasionally he'll let a couple other fans run a train on her and just listen from outside. Because there was a point yeah. where he just went outside <laughs> and he let two guys just have their way with her. Yeah, thank God that's... Yeah. I talked to Rat Pussy. I'm like, should me and Little Rat took... Um, Run a train on you? Yeah. Oh, I'd be with my brother. But she's just like, no, that's not happening. That's over. None would you that. have sex with his chick? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Why? I have a girlfriend. Oh, that, is that why? Why did you look to the right real quick? Very, it looked like... It was an awkward question. It was an awkward question? Are you yeah. sure about that? Yeah. I think maybe you're lying. What do you... Are you, do, you have, do you really pussy? have a girlfriend? Yes, I have a girlfriend. Why'd you take a rat dab from his thing? You know his rig is... You don't know what what's in there. Well, recently you got a new rig. So, so you got a new rig. Yeah. yeah. I, I, Another I day. Shattered. Okay, so that's the only reason you took it. Yeah. Because it could have... You did. It's yeah. clean. It's brand new. Well, Ratic Jr., I want to learn more about Ratic Jr. Because he, he seems, again, like he no, hasn't descended into the, the rat sewer. That's why I won't try to save him right now. Yeah. What do you do? I, you can be vague. You don't have to give away your place of work, but yeah. tell us generally what you do, where you live, who you are. I live in Ohio. Uh, just my name is Ratik Jr. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to school right now. I'm in an apprenticeship, and they just pay me to go to a school. vocational school. You're learning uh, how to be an electrician, install no, AC unit, something like that. It's like community college. I okay. got a really good apprenticeship. I'm so, wait, 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 an apprenticeship at a community college? Yeah, they're paying me to go to school. That's really nice. Okay, and then uh -huh. are you learning a skill too? Yeah, yeah, basically. You don't get drug tested, though. That's complicated. All right, well, be careful, okay. all right? So you're learning a skill. Is it something in line with being an electrician, a roofer, uh, a carpenter, a welder? Kind of like a technician. Okay, Go. so you're going to make good money. Yeah. Hard work, but you're going to make good money. Yeah. Okay, sweet. And you got a girlfriend out there. Yep. she a titty girl, ass girl? Uh, Both. She's nice. crazy. Wow. Crazy. Well, so is Rat Pussy Pam. I mean, that I is... Mean, come on. What's not to fucking love? I think she, Rat Pussy Pam would fucking love to take you guys both on. <laughs> Can I tell back, you something? Back in, uh, he made out with Rat ago. Pussy. Don't tell, tell he don't like. Let's not pretend there wasn't something going on between them too. That Danny made out with RPP. I did. So if it would be an honor, still something you there. you would be an Eskimo brother with Danny if you did do something. Then I don't think there's any anything wrong with it, dude. Just letting you know. You know, I will I, say that, that that really demonstrates a lot of sanity that Rat Dick Junior will not double team rat pussy pam in that hellhole of an apartment <laughs> the bugs crawling up the i mean i i personally think that there is a moment i think when if you did do it if you did just say fuck it and you double teamed rpp with with rat dick i think there'd be a moment in the middle of it like or i mean post nut clarity i think it's it's bad enough that you might kill yourself right after right like the post nut clarity yeah. where your body you know there's a moment after you come where your body cannot reproduce it's very short it's like it's like a minute and 30 seconds but during that time your body that's usually when leo opens the door and sprints out of the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> i'm in the passenger seat often so it's it's perfect so <laughs> <laughs> no, but dude, yeah, that would be a tough one. That would be a tough one. That would That'd be, be tough one. that would probably be the toughest one, Leo. especially if like because last week he admitted to one of his dogs having worms, and he's like he rubs his asshole like he comes, and then he looks over, and one of the pugs is like rubbing its asshole on, on the carpet. Pillow. He comes back, and Rat Dick's just making a face while he's like face fucking. <laughs> Oh, dude. I mean, other than the obvious illegal forms of sexual intercourse, I can't imagine a worse form of post nut clarity. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. It'd be like maybe the, the it maybe if you saw like you were having sex with a hooker and she had track marks and then you see her AIDS medication. Yes. That would be the only yes. other way that's worse. Leo, it's so making worse. a deal with the devil and then finally waking up in hell. <laughs> 
That's, it's yes. uh, oh shit. This is real. Oh my fucking god. Yes. Oh, there is there is fucking rat dick. It'd have to be an Eiffel Tower. You know, this is all theoretical, but oh sure, to make it classy in French. Make sure if he was in the back, it'd be an asshole. You know, he'd have to fuck the ass, and I'd be in the front. Hopefully, I'd be in the back. You know, but why would he have to fuck the asshole, rat dick? Explain want, that. If he, if, I'm gonna have to raise my little rat dick juniors kids. It's gonna be real rough for me. You know, but there won't be. Oh. The test I can tell between brothers is there, you know? You don't want him to conceive with rat pussy. Yeah, it's going to be rough. I'm going to have to raise little rat dicks' kids. You know, they're they're going to look just like me. Cause... I think they're probably going to have a better shot if it's his. Scene. I don't like any of this fictional scenario. Sorry, it dude. Sounds... So is it really because you grew up with the mom and he grew up with the dad, right? Uh, have you, is it the same dad or you guys have a different dad? Same same parents. Same parents. So, so fucking score for nurture, dude. Yeah. Nature versus nurture. Yeah, Rat definitely. dick junior. Nurture wins, bro. Yeah, or does an asshole. Okay, so that's the pro. That was his problem. Was was kind of going off with pops instead mm -hmm. of staying with mom. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's where it all really went downhill really fast. Yeah. So this, I really want to know right now. I want to assess the raw intelligence of these two men. Austin, can we get some game show music up? Oh, Copyright free, of God. course. Can we please do a, a trivia showdown, question for question with these two? Can we get ten questions and see who gets the best out of five? What kind of trivia? You got to pick something. I want different. really general. Fifth grade history. Uh -oh. No, oh, excuse me, not history. Very general fifth grade trivia. All right, so just, just type in fifth grade. Oh, yeah. smarter than a fifth. Like uh, you know, smarter basic division. Yeah, uh, Abraham Lincoln's presidency. The whole television geography, show. basic stuff. He, he just mentioned that there was a whole that television show. Are you smarter than a fifth yeah. grader? That was a huge show for a long yeah. time. Let's yeah, let's do that kind of stuff. Is that still going on? I don't yeah, that, think those so. Are, that's when I know, those are cheat that codes, was, uh, man. When somebody just comes up with such a simple show and it runs for thirty years, and, and it's with like, Jeff Foxworthy, exactly, Jeff Foxworthy, yeah. I was thinking of that, name. and he was a dirty comic. right? No, he wasn't. He's clean. He, oh, he's clean. He's All Christian. Right, no, he's yeah. clean. Oh, he, they had a roast of Jeff of Jeff Foxworthy that was. Filthy. Wow. And all the, every comedian just accused him of being a pedophile. That's hilarious. <laughs> Nick DiPaolo went up there <laughs> like, yeah, I heard the first day we're going to call that show, are you tighter than a fifth grader? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's funny. The pedophile jokes about him are funny. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this is going to be great. Okay, and then what type of trivia questions? Fifth grade uh, general trivia. General trivia. I want a mix of everything. Just stuff that... You know, a person with a, a functioning prefrontal cortex would know the answer to. All right. But somebody who, you know, has seen death and has been into the depths of the sewer might not know. We're really, this is nature versus nurture head to head right now. Leo. Yeah. This is a big deal. Uh, yeah. But while he's looking this up, I wanted to ask you something. Would you let us film your Thanksgiving if we blurred everyone's faces? My Thanksgiving? Yeah, but we brought Rat Dick to, like, your, your, the Ohio Thanksgiving or oh, something. Sure. Or, like, you brought brought Rat Dick to, like, I don't know, just, like, a, a, a general get-together. Would that be crazy? If we blurred everyone's face. Amazing. Well, that would be the That'd greatest. Be amazing. Yeah, interviews with everyone. Like, oh, my God. Okay. We bring your dad, dude. Oh, shit. Could be a possibility. That would be crazy. I mean, look, you got to look at it this way. It's, it's, for the, it's for the masses. It'll be there forever for you to, like, look back on when you're old. And I think that that's always cool. Like, you you know, you have this. It'll be a really that's funny weird. piece of content that you could always look back on. Rat Dick's going to be clean one day. I, I truly believe that. Work, one day though. soon. Yeah. You guys one day soon? Like no. I'm sorry. He's not going to be clean like one day soon. 10 years. Within 10 years, I think he might be clean one day. I mean, a little cleaner, you know. He's going to need pharmaceuticals for sure because he's going to have a lot of anxiety. He's not going to be able to sleep much, but. I need pharmaceuticals. I'm telling Nolan a lot about that. He should all right, let's, all right, let's, see. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's go. go to the trivia questions, Austin. I want to look them over really quickly. Put the volume down on that a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying to look at these over. And that's I, not bad. Well, uh, I don't like why are spiders extremely diverse? What the fuck? Dude, is how that mean? larger in size is Russia than the United States? Who the fuck knows? That's not fifth what are trivia. what are the four inventions? I don't like how it's not multiple choice either. Yeah. Just type in multiple choice. Hey, everybody. There Welcome to another edition of Brotherly Beef. Brotherly Beef. Brotherly Beef. Who has the smarter penis? With the brothers RDR. Dude, I might do a game show for my channel, dude. One has a... With you, Rat Dick? Oh, shit. Here we go, Austin. Let's see. You gotta stump the Rat Dick, dude. Everyone stumps the Rat Dick. <laughs> yeah, just the, here we go. Ooh, How many... <laughs> um, okay, this is like for special ed kids. 
<laughs> um, all right, let's try this. Let's do it. Let's fuck. Let's fucking do this one, Austin. So number one, I'm gonna kick this one to Rat Dig Ralph because this is again a special ed level question. Yeah. How many prongs does a standard kitchen fork have? Okay, it's four. I was gonna go three, but there's no. Let's no. see four. Got it. On the money, Rat Dick Ralph. Rat Dick Jr. A millennium is a time period of how many years? A thousand. A thousand uh, years is yeah. correct. On what continent, Rat Dick Sr., is the Amazon River located? Africa. You are an <laughs> asshole. Uh, it's in Brazil. It's uh, all over South America. It's more um, it's, it's more than just Brazil. It's all over. What type of blood cells, Rat Dick Jr., help fight and eat germs? Red blood cells? No. It is Ooh. white blood cells. His relation to RDR Damn. is beginning to show. Damn. What kind of waves, Rat Dick Ralph? Does an earthquake produce? I'm going to read them aloud. Light waves, sound waves, earth waves, seismic waves. Seismic. Or is that seismic? <laughs> it's not an answer. That's, I think it was, I he, it was he said it. He said it. Uh, that, oh, he, couldn't, he couldn't pronounce it after you pronounced it, which is worrisome. Yeah, oh, okay. my God. This bad. is really going to prove whether or not the rat, the rat genes are strong. You can stop it now. No more music, Austin. What country... Is home to an ancient 1,400-mile-long oh, wall called the Great Wall. That's China. Wow, impressive. Impressive, Rat Dick Jr. Rat Dick, which of the following is a natural resource? Books, computers, <laughs> wood, or pencils? I'm going to go with wood on that one. <laughs> and that was a tough one, though, right? <laughs> that was, that was, I like that his was little, uh, <laughs> I, like, I like him showing a little showboating yeah. on that one. That was good. Right? That was good. Yeah, yeah he, that was cocky. Yeah. I don't like how he got cocky. He got cocky. Respect got the cocky. quiz, yeah. dude. Respect the quiz. Oh, this, is a, this is actually a trick question, but go ahead. What shark is the world's largest fish? Is it a Port Jackson shark, Rattic? A whale shark? A blue shark? Or a puffer shark? Is it Little Rattic? Is it a blue shark? Wait, no, wait, wait. Was it Little Rattic? Oh, yeah, yeah it, it is was, Little Rattic. A blue shark? That is wrong. Ooh, it is a whale, whale shark. shark. Yeah. That was a tough it one. It is a whale shark. I was pushing on my little rat dick. Oh, this one, rat dick, you're gonna uh, you're gonna nail this one. Ooh, what yeah. is halfway <laughs> between the North Pole and the South Pole? Is it the line of longitude? The equator? The prime meridian? Or the prime line? That's the line of longitude, man. Yeah, you got it, rat dick. Uh, no! Nah! Come on. See, that's why they have, there was that Yo Mama joke. It's like, Yo Mama's so fat, her belt's the equator. Because you get it? Because it's all around the midsection. Rattic, this it's is a tricky. Rattic Jr., like this is a trickier one. What is the largest organ in the human body? Is it the skin, the heart, the liver, or the brain? I think that's the skin. He got it. Yeah, that's right. If all three were coming back to Rattic Ralph, and Rattic Ralph, you are losing the competition. I want you to know. I need to pick this little rat dick up. You do. It's yeah. you need Come to on, pick it up, man. You need to hope for a uh, a meltdown, a second half meltdown from your brother. Mm. If all if the three sides of a triangle are four inches long, what is the perimeter of the triangle? Oh, you good at math, rat dick? Is this your subject? Twelve inches, sixteen inches, ten inches, or six inches? Twelve inches. Twelve That's inches. Like a cock size you wish you had. That is correct. Could have been. Just like his cock for Lena. Yeah. yeah. Better watch out, dude. Yeah. All right. Rattig hey. Jr. Which So Rattig has missed two so far, right? I think that's where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which animal has no legs but four noses? Is this a centipede, a lobster, a robin, or a slug? <laughs> Is that a slug? Yeah, dude. It has to be, right? No. I did not know that one. On what continent, Rat Dick Ralph, is the Great Barrier Reef located? Is it Europe, Antarctica, Australia, or Asia? Stop looking at them. I don't like it. I think they're communicating nonverbal. Stop, bro. Rats can communicate nonverbal. It's got to be Australia, man. Yeah, he's giving it to them, dude. Stop. I think, I think they have a code. Blink twice yeah, for stop, Australia. Stop, bro. Literally stop, guys. All right. Rat Dick Jr., seven times two plus seven is what number? Uh, 21. He says 21, and he's correct. They are, uh, oh, there we go. We're going back up to, cool. That's because I knew that Ratnik was, Ratnik was the botanist, okay? This is a question about these, 
Which of these parts is found in plant cells but not animal cells? See, Ratek, this is your shit. You love mushrooms. You love fucking weed. The nucleus, the, the, the chloroplasts, the cell membrane, or the cytoplasm? Oh, man. The nucleus. The nucleus. You're incorrect. <laughs> I have a quick question, though. Did, did Adam still think um, a mud flap was ratchet even after Leo sent him the picture of me stretching my penis out? That is a good point. I did send him that before he showed up. Yeah. So Adam must have been smoking an unusual amount of spliffs that day. He to get that confused. The vape Wait pen a, a little too hard. Yeah. We sent him the cockpit. Dude, we sent him that? Dude, does he think you just sent him that just to be like, just like, hey, check this out? Dude. <laughs> check he probably out wouldn't care. Car. No, he, I mean, for sure he wouldn't care. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is really funny. Normal for him. Adam, a Adam's demonic. the kind of guy you could just send him like a, a selfie of your cock out in the mirror, and he wouldn't even like fucking prove it. But yeah, he like wouldn't give a fuck. Prove it, dude. Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking hit him with it. Yeah, you should. You and Rat Dick side by side, Dick. Send that to Adam Twenty Two. I'm down. I'm dude, down. Go. That'd be good. That's That'd be the good. funniest picture of all time, That'd dude. Be good. But just Adam Twenty Two can't leak it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah, he'll. Yeah. If I chub up, I won't be worried. But yeah, you got to chub up and then show it to just to Adam Twenty Two. And I'll just, you know, it'll be funny for me, dude, pretty much. So, Ratic Ralph is, I think he's down three now. Yeah. Uh-oh. Ratic Jr. has a perfect score thus far. When Ratic he got Jr., one wrong. He got one wrong. What did he get wrong? He got, uh, what was it? He I believe. One. You. If you remember yeah. he got one wrong, you're probably he right. He got one wrong. That's the consensus. How many sides, I think we're going to get him again here. How many sides of a peninsula are surrounded by water? That's three. That's three. Yes. I agree. Dude, you know correct. what's scary? I think after like watching Fez go, you know, try to think about like do a little trivia and stuff. I think Rat Dick might beat Fez. That'd be great in a trivia contest. You know, Fez kind of looks like Rat Pussy Pam in male <laughs> form. And I think if you wanted to dabble in gay sex, Rat Dick, I think you should fuck Fez. I got the gay, the gay shit on. Dude, so. we actually don't know. I mean, we're not a hundred percent sure that Fez isn't gay. We don't really know. He's a thirty-eight-year-old virgin. And we, don't we don't know that know. he's not related to Rat Pussy Pam either. No, yeah, well, Fez is classic. What Rat Dick? What act do humans? The uh, the peninsula one's tough because, like, the Iberian Peninsula, it's more than three sides. It's like mm. seven out of eight sides. Mm. Oh, some of those. What acts? What act do humans perform more than ten million times a year? Belching, coughing, blinking, sneezing—that's a weird one. Does it mean and humans collectively? No, like human beings. One person, like a single person. person. It's 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 like really obvious the answer. It's coughing because I take so many dabs. I think. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what's your real answer though? I mean, it for. It's it's belching, blinking, sneezing, so and for coughing. Average person is probably blinking, but yeah, process of elimination. Yeah. You just go with the one yeah. that you do the most. Yeah. What day, Rat Dick Junior. is named after the planet Saturn? This is the fucking Dino could answer this one. Yeah, he could. Saturday. There you go. Dino's like, really? oh, I thought it was Wednesday. Which because an- Wednesday's hump day, it's based. Which animals drink water through their skin, Rat Dick Ralph? Frogs, dogs, cats, or elephants? Frogs. There we go. Cats. Okay, here we go. Here Final two questions. Rat Dick Jr., what is it called when you draw all facts together in a scientific study? Is it called drawing a model, drawing a conclusion, method to the madness, or data file? Uh, drawing a conclusion. There you go, Rat Dick Jr. And then, Ratic, lastly, what is the longest river in the United States? The Yellow, the Amazon, the Nile, or the Mississippi? I'm going to have to go with the Mississippi. Bam! Oh, yeah. You know, Ratic, that's how I know. We've talked about this a lot. Ratic Ralph, he, every time he comes on the show, he's like a carton of milk. He's completely good for the first seven to nine days. Yep. And then he starts to go bad rapidly. Dude, I think I screenshotted something that he wrote. Could I, Ask him some questions. I'm going to find this bullshit. You know what I'm saying, Dick? Like right now, you were uh, able to perform relatively respectably on that trivia challenge. Whereas the Dick who was on the last few episodes of LDS before the cops started showing up and yeah. he started, that guy would have been like, uh, longest river in the United States, probably like the Nile. Uh, you did think the Amazon was in Africa, so. So, you know, he told me about a billion times that if he ever came back, he wasn't going to be crazy, yeah. he wasn't going to do anything. And one guy writes, how long till he goes insane this time? Nine likes on his on his picture, right? Rat Dick responded. What'd you say, Rat Dick? 
Oof. He goes. Well, let's see if he remembers. Does Raptor remember what he I said? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt you remember. This was six days ago. Six days ago. Once the cheese starts rolling in from the uh, dick pics, who knows when the rat dick rampage will begin? Yeah. <laughs> that is what he wrote. Yeah. That is what he Sorry fucking to wrote. Back to me. After for fucking eight months, you're telling me you're going to be a good person. This is the first comment, bro. You're back on. This is the first. The Bob one of the, took me back. Yeah, and this is what you write, bro. I love it, dude. It's unbelievable. Uh, I love it, right? Like, I is there anything easier than sending out dick videos for twenty bucks? Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's, it's hard. I mean, it's such it's such an easy commodity to share. You know, dick. And I just I have so much of it or so little of it. So how, and, it's hard because you don't have enough dick to go around. I mean, I have <laughs> it, it's so, so little. There's so much to go around. Every know? the Indians thought every photo took a piece of their soul. Every photo takes like a half inch of his cock. Oh, uh, it's so funny, dude. Yeah. I mean, so I, after two photos, he's fucking. I produce so much, you know, cheese. There's enough to go around for everybody. Uh, what, what's the cheese? What is the rad cheese? Is that your jizz? What do you mean? Cheese is jizz. Yeah. Do you do you come a lot, rat dick? Come a lot for rat pussy. Yeah. Did he sent? I think I might have. I know a fan has a cum shot, bro. You sent a cum shot a to cum a fan. Shot. I think I remember seeing it. Uh, I didn't cum see it. It was like a peripheral. I remember somebody was trying, Nico was trying to show it to me, and I saw like a little peripheral. It was just. Ratzik, you, uh, you, you charge 20 bucks for a cum shot? You know, that should probably be premium pricing. Yeah. It should be 40 at least. At least start OnlyFans, you jerk. I know. <laughs> you the poor that. needs to start. I mean, I, I mean, is Ratzik's cum shot really even worth $20? I don't think <laughs> so, like, dude. You got a pretty good. Kind of good ass. I do. I agree with that, but I mean, it is like it's kind of one of those things. It's like I don't know. You're paying for you know, it's like paying for like an antique or something. You know, it's got some artistic value. You know what I mean? Sure. It's a Jackson Pollock. Yeah. Especially Slapped when it comes all over a wall. Uh, Ratic, you uh, are a menace. But I want to get you. I think the OnlyFans thing is great. I think we can find if Gucci Berry, who came on the podcast, yeah. if he could find women to have sex with him. I think we can find a nice girl for you to fuck on camera. Uh, you know, rap pussy, she's fine. As long as it's for porn and making money, she yeah. says it's okay. Sure. Just do it. She's fine. Make some money. I'd like to see if you could pass that STD test. Yeah, it's, we should probably take one. I say we soon. wear a condom just to be safe. I wonder this, if... This, this weekend. I, I would be Crip amazed, Mac. but there's a small chance that Holly Day or Kazumi will degrade themselves enough to have sex with you. Holly Day or Kazumi, that, that'd be a big dream come true for my little rat dick, you know? Who would you choose? I know you had a fling with Holly Day, or you had, uh, there were, was a period where she captured your heart, which is strange because you're in a loving relationship. Yeah, I'm in a loving already. relationship. You know, she's had yeah. very nice tits. Very yeah, nice big ass, ass, too. Big ass. What tits. was it? Also, yeah, you wanted her to flick your penis with a stick. Yeah. I believe you were <laughs> asking her to do that. <laughs> that is Couldn't about really how it, any but... woman should treat Rad Dick's penis. Pretty much. Well, she so. could hit it with a stick, and Rad Pussy Pan would probably understand. She was just I'm sorry, bro, away. by the way. I'm sorry you have to hear these things. I don't know if you, you were I've privy. I've heard some of it before. You've heard some of it before. I'll show some you Holly Day's uh, video, man. It's something you'll really like it. But Kazumi, she's Asian. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that changes everything. Kind Rad Dick, how much for me just to, on the next video shoot, just hit you in the dick with some pepper spray? Just pepper spray right on the groin. Rad Dick, you, not, not Rad Dick Jr. I gotta get pepper spray. My you dick. don't have to, but I, I would <laughs> pay you. Right now. <laughs> I would pay you a sum of money that would make the pain less. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. One fifty? Would you do it for one hundred fifty bucks? One fifty. Woo! You know, it's good. <laughs> just I want a five second sustained beam of pepper spray. <laughs> Damn! I want it. I want All it to right. look like I work at a fucking. Uh, I work at a weed <laughs> shop, and I'm like fucking misting one of the plants. Yeah, dude. I do it, I do it uh, dude. It's tragic. I got an ice bucket nearby. It's on my eyes. I'll take it. Like we wear, if I wear uh, swimming goggles, I'll fucking do it. Do you think the stuff the we do with your brother uh, is is it good for his life or is bad for his life? What do you think, man? Um, I mean, he's deciding himself to be here. It's sure. not like you're forcing him to do anything. That's true. It's it, getting pepper sprayed on your penis. That's uh, really going to burn my little dick. The tip, yeah, but, but it's going to burn his dick, but it's true. 150 it, bucks. It, yeah, exactly. Bucks, so he yeah. makes money. I mean, money's hard to get, to make nowadays. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah he has to sell his body to make money. Exactly. He's he, selling his body ooh. already, dude. He might as well do these things. Might as well up at a notch and take some pain and you know i i felt bear mace run down my body onto my penis so it's a little pain. yeah has your brother seen that video can we pull that up have austin that, video? that is if we go just while we're talking you can get it rolling it is i smoked the oldest tree on earth 
And then oh. we're going to go midway to where there's a granny wielding a can of bear mace. We're going to watch that real quick. Together. On Mud Flaps channel, he also has a very good. And clip we're going to have it. to we're going to have to mute it because it's got a copyrighted but song. Danny's Danny's video does it justice for sure. It's so we're going to have to mute it, Austin. We'll do that first. Here, let's watch this right here. Perfect this time. This is nuts. You haven't seen this that little rattic? So we're watching me explain to an old woman. This is one of the and uh, bless her soul. This is pretty lit one two. Dude, it's making you orange. It's coloring erratic, which is great. Three, on my dick. She loved it, huh? Yeah, she didn't I give a fuck. She was getting eyes. some blowback, too, dude. Six, Everybody seven. around us got maced. Oh, that was, the last one was just straight on. And then once that happens, I mean, what does it feel like, Radic? I don't even know. It's extremely, like, burning fucking... It's not as bad as oil, but it's, it's like, say, super hot spice on your tongue if you eat some, like, crazy right. like, salsa, but it's, like, intensified to the thousand. Damn. And then it's in your eyes, man. So you can't see anything. It just goes completely covered, and you think you're gonna go blind. But it was a full hour. It was probably a full hour that Ratic was in agony. Push out. It takes. I thought it was, maybe it was about an hour, and then about two hours of just leftover pain. <laughs> and then look one, at the orange. And then once the uh, once that goes away, I mean, it, so it, it just goes completely away in two hours or no? An hour? It just slowly fizzles out. I think I felt it even the next day a little bit, and just slightly on my skin. I'm like, yo, I could, I could feel a little tingle. And right there, it was pretty gnarly. I, I had to go outside. I, I've been, uh, right, like I, it's interesting. The only two things I've ever maced is you and then my neighbor's barky dog. I, I, full dog I have a dog. I go out there and I try to like, chill out, read a book, eat a sandwich on the patio. And this dog gets right up next to me point blank and starts barking its ass off in my ear. So I hit it with a little pepper spray. Not up close, not point blank into its German Shepherd eyes, but I shoot it through a chain link fence. So a nice little mist hits it. That little mist, it learns to associate with me and it knows not to bark. Animals and rats. I mean, there. dogs and rats respect fucking pepper spray. I forgot where I was going with that. Milk it's, helps. It's, it, yeah, he's Milk the rat, helps. dude. Dogs and rats, you got it. Dogs and fucking rats. Dude, that dog. But, um,. Yeah, I mean, look, you got. I, I know where you live, and I know that that dog is just left out alone all day, and it's like the worst. You couldn't even. What you go knock on the door, and it's just like a five year old picks up and it, like opens the door, and it's like hello, and yeah. Like, and then you, they <laughs> go, can I speak to still like a parent? And they're like, no, and he locks it. That's it, right? Yeah. Listen, I the rat now the not the rat. I'm sorry, I'm hung up on the rat. The German Shepherd now <laughs> loves me. It wags its tail when I come out because nice. I am the alpha. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. I mean, I domed it. It, it, it didn't kill. I mean, it, it hurt him a little bit, but it didn't kill him. It was, it a, was fi just, a fine mist geez. went through the fence, and he sort of smelled it in his hypersensitive German Shepherd nose. Yeah, that's nose. what it was. It, he yeah. was fine, but now he knows that it gets a little tingly, and I don't like the smell when I bark out here. So the whole neighborhood owes me. They no, fucking owe me. I think arguably what they sell on Amazon to stop barking dogs that makes like a high pitched noise. It's like torture. does not work. I've tried it. No, but that but arguably the idea behind that is more torturous than what you did, in my opinion. I'm pretty much like a, a guy who adopted a dog from the pound. You're a nice guy who loves animals. That's that's the level I am for macing I a would, dog. Dude, would you mace Brando if he was meowing yes. in the middle of the night? Even if he I, wasn't meowing, I, I go, Daddy, dude, look, I need to get out of town real quick. It's like last minute. No one can watch him. Can you watch Brando for yeah, two yeah. days? Yeah, of course, Leo. No if, problem. If he meows at like 6 a.m. a little bit. Listen, I, the first thing I'm going to do when I get into your apartment is I'm going to put out a bowl of milk <laughs> and I'm going to mace the surface of the milk. What is wrong with you? For a 10 count. And then I'm going to go. You're going to give a Brando a fucking milk full of mace? Mm -hmm. Milk bowl full of mace. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? He'd lap it up and you'd be like, <laughs> his little cute like, sneezes, dude. It'd be so cute. And that would just be the beginning of it. Oh, I, think you're, I think you're good with animals, Danny. I'd be willing to give you one of my rat pugs. I have four of them at Yeah, well, house. because it, virtually any fate they can encounter would be better than what they're currently living they, through. They're, yeah. they're in a little studio. I might swim off to my little sister in Ohio. Maybe you'll take the other one. You'll, will you raise a little rat pug? Or Are you going to bring one it? back? Are you bringing a pug back with you? Possibly. Uh, that's the consideration, maybe. Dude, you need to do it. What the fuck? What do you mean? You're going to let them live in that shithole? Come on. <laughs> save one. Pick the one that deserves to be saved. The most attractive one. And you take it. If you let me stash it in the bag. Ratic, let me ask you this. What do you think about what's going on in the Middle East right now? You know, I'm not too uh, aware. On we'll try. That. Take a stand. I don't want you on the fence right no, here. Like, break it down for him. You know what I mean? No, uh, I, want him know, to, I want him just to fucking say what he feels, dude. I don't think it's okay. Dino's, fallen, de Dino's definitely falling you know, asleep behind okay. the camera. Dino, you just nod it off. 
dude. People are getting killed out the there. Brothers, crazy, the brothers yeah. tend to nod off sometimes. That's okay. Yeah, they're like it's weed junkies. They, it's how they work, dude. <laughs> right now and then. Right now, I need you to take a strong stance on the Middle East. Is ceasefire or no ceasefire? What do you think? Uh, I think there should probably be a no a ceasefire. You know. Oh, you see, you support Hamas, dude. You know, I think uh, you know. I was <laughs> I was raped by not raped, but I was beaten by a big ginger Nazi guy. Oh yeah, that's in, uh, the thing. Jail. Yeah, I told he Danny about that too. Nazi. That was a little yeah. bit of a Freudian slip there. Yeah, it was yeah, a Freudian. He wasn't really raped, dude. but he was. Uh, he had a big dick, and he would always fucking. Yeah, I heard about this. Can you imagine like this was naked? Let me what, so, gonna, let me break it down because he's gonna. Give I, I don't. Me. I don't like how you said. Basically, what you said is that Palestinians have the right to kill Jews, and now you're trying to transition into your no, own saying, trauma to distract from that. I, I, it is bullshit. Maybe dude. maybe no Jews should have to die. You know, in general. Okay, so you probably never mind. But yeah, I heard you got the shit beat out of you by a ginger with a big cock in jail. So Danny, the, wall the, time, the way he would do it, yeah, that was the wall time. But the, let me break this down for you real quick. We, we already, yeah, we've these, the audience already heard about it though. Kind of, yeah, no, but you need we. They want to know what you think about yeah, this, okay. and he's not okay. going to be able to give you all the points that were the most necessary for Danny Mullen to hear. This guy would had a giant cock. He was about six six. As you said, he was bigger than me. He told me to sleep above his bunk because he wanted to watch me. Dude, he yeah. would give him tasks that Ratnik wouldn't do. So then he would take out his huge cock in the, the bathrooms showers. and the showers. Oh, yeah, the shower. And it would get kind of hard and he would beat Ratnik. And this was daily. Daily, daily thing. This was daily. Until he really fucked up my eye. I, I'm sure the fans don't mind hearing that again either. You know, yeah. it's, a, so, it's a crazy story. So Ratnik, he got hard. What were the tasks like that he was assigning you? You're telling me to get my boxers and clean this fucking area. And he would look at me from the area and be like, you better fuck clean hard, boy. <laughs> you know, it'd be kind of creepy. And then he'd say, you didn't fuck clean in the and shower. You, and were you and locked in a cell with this guy? He'd take off his pants and be like, what the fuck? And he'd hit me with his boxers. Were you locked in a cell with this guy? It's a big, like, dorm with, like, 80, 80 dudes. That's crazy. So and you... He that, was the leader of the white dudes. So that, had, It's nice that he wasn't locked in a room with this guy because God knows what It was a big it. room. It was, yeah, a big room. I mean, I'm talking about locked in a cell. Oh yeah, and a little smell, a little cell. That would be a lot worse. And how long were you in jail? Two, two months, about almost three months. Two months, yeah, long months. time. Yeah. And this guy, how much did you hate your life when you were being forced to clean a big ginger's area yeah, in your think. underwear, and he would pull out his penis <laughs> and fucking grab the pubes that night, <laughs> just yank him out and leave a fuck clean that shit up. Did boy. you? I mean, did you think about oh, cleaning up your act when you were in jail? Uh, is you know he. My charges, the cops really, they were Mexican and they saw me going after Rat Puspan. She was a Mexican girl, so they fucked and wrote some crazy shit on there, you know. And Rat Puspan was, you know, what happened was gnarly. So the the, the people were like, oh, Rat, you're fucking, you're probably a pretty pr crazy, like, woman abuser, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to fucking go hard on this guy, probably. And it was COVID, so they Damn. Had nothing better to do. The and cops it, or the, the inmates? The inmates, and they were, you know, <laughs> yeah. Dude. Like, it, as if d during not COVID, they're drinking <laughs> tea and playing polo. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's so, a little more stressed out during that time. So, Rettig, this guy would pull his cock. So, I, it sounds, first of all, like you deserved it a little bit. Yeah, you did deserve, deserve it. it so. you know, How so. bad would he beat you up? How many times did you get punched every day by this guy? Uh, you know, it would be wall time, and if wall time didn't go good, it would be go straight to the shower. And If wall time cocks. didn't go good? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, if, uh, yeah, you know, no, if uh, it'd be like do your into exercises. the mic, into the mic, do your exercise. If that doesn't go good, you gotta go. E when you say exercises, do you mean cleaning in your underwear, or do you that, mean doing push-ups? That, that and push-ups. So, so they made those. you do push-ups. Yeah, yeah they're trying to help yeah, this piece of help shit. Me, but I couldn't do the push-ups. I was. Really they were trying to get you in shape, or was it a sexual thing? They're trying to be ready for a race war against the Mexicans, and I was oh always kind of like, well, they're like, <laughs> they're like Dude. I know. See, he didn't tell me that last yeah. time. So this is why we got to continue hey. talking about things. Yeah, I'm gonna bang out some push-ups. Yeah, dude, you gotta get it ready for. A race war, dog. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. If they're if Mexicans go after you, you need to be able to go on flight at any moment and attack these people, and like nothing is matters. Like you're gonna get ethics charges. Like we have. Shame. Do they know you were dating? You need to stab them. Wait, if, if they, they let me ask you this. I'm like, no, nah. <laughs> I'm like not good with their. Like, I'm encountering some cognitive dissonance here. If they hated Mexicans and wanted to have a race war, shouldn't they have liked that you beat the shit out of a Mexican girl? They were just like, they they're trying to make it not pop off, but they're like. You know, if it pops off, like we don't want it because of you, and you're over it here. It didn't answer my question. It was a complex yeah, question. Was, there were multiple layers. It was. It was. Wait, you said the Mexican girl. You, you yeah, you hit a Mexican girl. So shouldn't they have liked that and not fucking giving you wall time? Uh no, they're they any still girl, any right? Girl, yeah. If you just yeah, hit a girl, it's over. Right? It's over. All right, they're they're interesting. There's. It's not as bad as the chomos, though, right? Yeah, I mean, if I yeah, I'm not a chomo, thank God, but. 
you know, those people. Well, they the life is worse. long. We'll they, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> right, take, not. So yeah. you're doing push-ups, and then you got to do wall time after push-ups? Yeah. So, so tell me about wall time in detail. Wall time is you need to go stand in the corner, and they get to just punch you as much as they want, and you have to stand there and take it, and you can't fucking push back. Quick question. There's a, a giant ginger with his dick out when yeah, this is giant, happening? Yeah. <laughs> You know, so just if there was five guys there, how many guys had their dicks out? Five guys are beating you. How many guys had their dick out? Well, everyone's just in their boxers. You so, know? but the ginger would take his dick and out. He would, yeah, he would just take him off. You know? We didn't have this guy in the pod. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. that He's would be the greatest to do it. That guy's staying in jail for a long time. That's I think right. if he's doing that, dude, he's probably in there for a while. Yeah, I think dude. he was going to prison. Oops, that guy's running the big show, dick. though. Yeah, big big dick was going to prison. He was trying to be a head leader of the. Thing and I actually got transferred out of that unit because he that's beat good. me that's up so bad. That's good pay. Uh, he got transferred out because he beat him up so and bad. And then he got transferred out of that unit too because I guess he was running shit too hard in there. And we got put in the same unit. <laughs> Obviously, he was running and then shit too hard. I was too walking hard, through. Bro. I saw him fucking butt naked looking through me. He's like, "You pushed that book through me, like through the fucking thing." And so I kicked the book and like, he's like, "You better, you, you ready for it later?" And I'm like, "Fuck!" So I told the guards, I'm "The like, race war or wall time?" You know, he's ready. You ready for me later? He looked at me like that and uh, he was naked. He, did he ever? Did he ever try to make you suck his dick? No, I never got sexual, but I think it was just one step away to, you know. <laughs> Would you suck his dick, Ratic, for like more oatmeal? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I wasn't willing to suck his dick, but he <laughs> he wanted to tap. Can you imagine tell. it's the other way around? Like a chick was getting like molested in jail, and some like chick fucking podcaster was like, "Would you let her? Did you have to eat her pussy for some oatmeal?" Then yeah, it, was, it was a dark time. Man, man on man rape is it's the best. Just the funniest. It's the best, yeah, dude. It's the fun- <laughs> Big changer guy, yeah. So Radtick, you so wall time. Are you allowed to cover up? Are you allowed to block punches? No, you just gotta stand there. Like you can stand there like that. They cross your arms. And they punch you in the face? They usually don't punch you in the face, but they, towards the end when I, I they said I bitched out so much and was like like not taking their body shots well and not I was like Were they hitting you hard? Yeah, man. They're leaving bruises on all over my arms and shit. And I was like, fuck, you know. In the stomach? Yeah, man, all over. It was it was gnarly. <laughs> they might have cracked some of your ribs. Yeah, I don't sure, think they're right? cracking ribs, but it was yeah. definitely like I would like like tense up before they punch me, you know. Yeah. And was this in the main dormitory? Yeah, and they would have like shouldn't the, the guards maybe intervene at this point? Well, the guards only walk in once every fifteen minutes to just and all the guys go to their beds and then they go back out and everyone just goes back to doing their own thing. I, are, are there speakers? Can't they hear this going on? If you push the speaker, <sighs> then they're gonna like go hard, even harder on you. They would probably would like they beat they beat me up pretty badly if you broke uh bruised eye but they probably like you know hurt me really harder they would have yeah me up. what it, what it seems to me is that every jail is different i said that on the last pod yeah. too but it seems like every single one has their own rules and shit and then this one they felt like maybe that big ginger really set a couple guys straight and they the guards probably thought that rat dick needed the big ginger in yeah. his life i think it actually helped that's why he's terrified of the cops i don't think <laughs> uh, last time you you do do illegal things but I hope you don't want to go back to, to that ever no, again. No. So the yeah, big ginger like did ginger some dude. God's work, bro. Ratik, you come home one night. Uh, Ratik, or Rat Pussy Pam thinks you you should still be out driving. She knows she's blocked off three hours. She's on her fucking knees. Big dig gingers on your fold out Murphy Ooh. bed. Oh. <laughs> Oof. That, you know, I would go insane. And that's, you know, the fucking crackheads behind my apartment would hear me and it would be bad. It, Is you he know. your biggest enemy? Yeah, he would. It, he is my biggest fear. Hoping I hope I never see him again. He's in my nightmares. You know, I, I think he's gone for good. You know, how tall was he really? Now I just though? got mud flap to worry about. Yeah, I feel like this has become. I feel like this is a Paul Bunyan situation. I think so too. He was he really? How tall was he? Um, I want to say around like Leo's. So he was side. like six three. Six, yeah. All right. Yeah, and fucking. But with like a three times as big of a cock. Dude, shut up. You don't know. Yeah, it's been a while Every since I've seen think, Leo's cock. Uh, it's, 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 I saw the memory. Yeah, yeah, thanks. We got the memory in there. And, you know, I like that you support everyone's cock. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he does. He told me my cock was huge like, the first time we saw it. Yeah. Like, you got to have a hype man for a cock. Hell yeah. So, dude, Cock's like not four true. times bigger than mine, man. What the That's fuck? That's not true. Right, Dick? Uh, so this, then after wall time, <laughs> this guy takes you in for one-on-one personal training. Yeah. Into the shower? It, well, he would, you know, he would look at me while he shot. His bunk was right here, the showers. He'd always kind of look at me in the shower. Never got him coming in the shower with me. Yeah. But we'd be showering naked, you know, because yeah. we had to shower naked. And 
you always kind of just looking at me, you know, and it'd, it'd just be, it'd be creeping me out. You that know? sucks, dude. That's <laughs> it was creepy. That sounds like the worst thing to ever happen to anyone is, yeah. is just a giant ginger just taking his dick out and beating you up. That That's, sounds. They need a separate jail for gay people. Do you think that guy was gay for sure? I mean, probably, yeah. But what do you mean? But they, I think a lot of guys. He was not gay. I might have blocked <laughs> out the memory of us right shou- there. showering together because the whites would bored. shower together, and he probably would come in the shower with me. I probably would leave very quickly, and it might be a suppressed memory of him coming in the shower like butt naked. Ratic wear his underwear and then clean. That's crazy, oh, yeah. dude. You know, I'm, I'm sure that guy. Underwear. I'm yeah. sure that guy wasn't gay. I'm sure he just Once. been in there for so long and was so mentally disturbed. Yeah. He was just using this as a tactic to fuck with Ratic mentally. It was psychological warfare. Yeah. You really, exactly. I mean, dude, I don't think that they should separate the gays. The gays need to be in our jail system and people need to be afraid of sort of getting raped if you go to jail. Like you should, yeah. I mean, if you end up in jail. Yeah. And also the gay guys in jail, they turn into the, the he she's. Mm-hmm. They grow out their hair. And a guy who's been in there for 25 fucking years. A gay guy with long hair is a, a sight for sore eyes. And who are you to deprive them? That's so right. fuck off, Austin. Hey, man. I already got long hair, so I, I, I hope I'm not going there. As, long, as hard as, <laughs> as much as I can. And shout out to our homie in jail still, by the way. What's his name? The fan. Uh, the fan, yeah. He texted me, my man. Bobby? Bobby. I think his name's Bobby. Shout out that to Bobby. I could be wrong. I hope it's, uh, even if it's not, we're still flying you out whenever you get out of we jail. Are. He texts me, dude. He texts me from his jail phone. Yeah, he texts me too. To the from podcast time. on the jail phone. Yeah, Ricky, he listens, he Ricky, listens Ricky, to the pod. Ricky Bobby? Uh, or am I just, did I watch Talladega Night? Did you listen like, to our pod while you were in jail? I did not. You know, I told oh, a lot of people you, about dude. it. I, you I, told a lot of people about it? Yeah, I definitely told I was Ratchet Ralph. And I, 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 no, it was <laughs> Did funny. that change their attitude? I told this guy. Is that like, why they wanted you as a lieutenant in the race war? No, I'm going to tell my daughter about Ratchet Ralph, check it on YouTube. She's not going to see no weird shit, right? Oh, yeah, she I'm like, no, it's cool, bro. It's just funny. Like, to Google Images, you, dude. And Google it, images the rat. That guy I'm, I'm fuck sure you up. when she, he her, he asked her daughter, like, "What did you see when you looked up rat?" It's so he, she pulled, he pulled his penis out within the first <sighs> minute. Wow, that's hilarious. And he's, "I'm a fucking stab that phoenix in my seat." <laughs> so I'm like, "Yeah, I, I better stay out of band." If area. you just type in, you did it once, I think. But if you just go Google images rat dick Ralph, your penis comes up. Yeah, can we try that? Rat dick can we try that? Let's try that real quick. I just I want to confirm. Get lucky. Rat dick, would you face fuck rat pussy Pam's dad? Ooh, you know. uh, just rat dick rough, not penis. Just let's see what Whew. and then go images. And then images, yeah. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. I don't see it. No. That's good. That's good, rat dick. A lot of unrelated Damn. shit. But now put rat dick rough dick and see if you see it. I have I have been lucky enough to Google rat dick rough and see the penis. So that's it's that first one. It's it's uh yeah, good. Yeah, we'll there it, it is. <laughs> there it is. There, there it is. is there dude. it is. Wow. <laughs> Rat Dick showing his cock Dude, to what the is camera. He posted this on Facebook. <laughs> Look at the X, bro. That's an actual the rat dick. The naked mole rat? Yeah, that's funny. The naked mole rat looks a lot like your penis, Rat Dick. That was yeah. way, back in the, way back in the days. It was on Patreon. So, oh, what's up, Saltine? Saltine, you want to show Rat Dick your penis? I want to see if this uh, is yeah, bigger or want... smaller than the gingers. Correct. Yeah, we wanted to do... Uh, uh, shut up. No, Saltine, listen, we wanted you to side, to side by side gay. with Ratik for oh, Danny. Dude, do it for him. Come on, he's stressed out, bro. He's got a lot of work I'm and shit. stressed out now with this gayness, dude. I've been begging my brother to pull out his cock, so that's kind of gay incest, but it's dude, not gay if you're just chilling. Come on, dude. You know? He's stressed, yeah. dog. Showing your cock to the boys is weird. Saltine's yeah. a fucking downer now. Hey, fuck up. Is that, is that a... D- on my dick, are you bro. eating uh Is that a... Uh, what is that? DiGiorno? No. Red Baron. Red Baron. Red Baron's better than DiGiorno? Yeah. Which one's All better? All right, let's kill that mic. I'm sorry. Yeah, never let's mind. kill that mic. I don't want to. I can't really talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's kill that mic. Yeah. So, Rat Dick Ralph Jr., how's your girlfriend? What's she do? Uh, She goes to college and she works two jobs. How old is she? She's old, two 18. Jobs. Nice. nice. <laughs> Why don't you guys have an apartment together? <laughs> when did you know? start dating her? Uh, I was 17 and she was 15. So there was a period, if I'm doing my math correctly here, <laughs> that uh, he told right. me he almost makes as much as Rat Pussy Pam. Crime runs already. in the family, I see. To be fair, the age of consent in Ohio is probably like 15. Yeah, I see. No, yeah, whatever. We, we're all good. Nothing. There was like, nothing illegal. Nothing illegal. Well, that's, I mean, I'm just doing the math here. and it, I beg to differ. It's, no, it was all good. Uh-huh. Did you talk to the mayor? Yep. Did you sort it out? Yep. Rat Dick, what do you think about that? I know there's some illegal shit going back on. <laughs> right there at the pad. That's right. He's not, not as squeaky yeah. clean no. as he presents. To get serious for a moment, do you ever worry about your brother? Uh, yes, I do. 
I hope I could help him out. And bro, I've been, I've been they sound identical. I'm like, they sound identical. identical. I'm like, yo, you should become the biggest wax dealer in Ohio. I'm gonna start mailing you ounces of wax to Ohio. And he's like, I can't do it. I'm like, dude, you're, you're sketching and get busted. He's like, he's like, no. It's just, it's just like, what is is? It, you feel like he has a chance of getting sober one day, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you got to be positive about that. Yeah, yes, he does. Would you, you think? Know. Do you think? Um, do you worry though that maybe like? If you got sober, Rattic, I'm worried that the beer goggles would fall off and you would move out of your apartment and break up with Rat Pussy Pam. Stop <laughs> it, dude. She's gorgeous. She's, yeah, she's gorgeous. But you don't think that you would leave behind some of the stuff you currently do slash fuck? Yeah. I mean, if I wasn't able to get high every day and do mushrooms every other night, you know, who knows what would happen to me? I'd, every other night? Bro, come on. You do yeah. mushrooms every night, huh? Yeah. I, I microdose every day. Sometimes I trip every day. If it's the right time to do what about it. acid? Acid, you know, I, I owe my dealer 200 bucks. He's kind of like, yeah, pay me before I give you another bottle, bro. <laughs> when but, was the last time you got high on acid? Like last month, like last month, I did like a okay. half a vial of acid in like a weekend. And, Were you fucked up? Yeah, I was, I really tripped out hard, dude. I, I thought, like, I thought I fucking, you know, I, it was just really gnarly, dude, and crazy. Dude, we gotta, t- you gotta not go on this trip, but we gotta film this weekend, dude. Yeah, like maybe, can we do it Friday? Is it possible? Probably. Yeah, I mean, then we, we could dip out on Friday evening, go up the Redwoods. You know, I'd be sick. I'd be sick. Retic, I want to get you so loaded on mushrooms again. <laughs> Would you be down for that? For this Friday? Yeah, that'd be cool. With little Retic Jr., I'm telling him to fucking dose up with me, and he... Right, Don't Retic Jr., you want to dose up, dude? No, I'm good. Dude. Bro, I, I think you, your brother being Retic is probably going to help you stay off a couple of drugs, huh? Yeah, for sure. Dude, I, don't the best thing to do is just don't try the hard stuff like he tried, man. I feel like if you just of never, course. I mean, obviously your fucking dad gave you meth at sixteen. That probably that was that was it the move. That's what fucked me. you up. But had he never tried it, you know, then he would just be a, a full time psycho, not for real, you know. Instead of whatever he is now, we don't really know what he's on ever. Sometimes, you know, you gotta wonder. He tried it though, and he got off of it. Yeah. Like most meth heads, just you're right forever. Try it and stay on it forever. Yeah, it's true. It's it's amazing that he got off of it. Do you ever think how hard you'd fucking come though, Rat Dick, if you were still smoking meth? Stop. Uh, yeah, if I just could do a line, just go fuck rap pussy all night, it'd be it'd be fun. But you'd like that? It just it'd get me back into doing meth like more often. I shouldn't do that. If you know? did a line of meth, what if I bought you a suite at the Bellagio oh. and I gave you like a fat baggie of meth Joe. and it was just you and Rat? Would you let her shit on you? Yeah, they're showing me, but I feel like the come down would just be so intense. I'd be like, fuck, you know. But, you know, if if it was done right, you know. You'd snort a bag of meth and let rat pussy shit on you. And do a fuckload of other drugs, too, you know. <laughs> would you do a bunch of blow? Yeah, a bunch of, uh, I'd do um, do the ether, like. Uh, oh, yeah, the yeah, rag, yeah. the fucking rag. Would you do a, um, I'm trying to think of a, a line. I'm trying to think of a I want to do ketamine. I want, I want to cut you up a line of crystal meth, cocaine, and heroin, dude. Would you do that to the dome? That would be fucked, bro. Maybe, probably not, because Leo's going to be hell disappointed. Yeah. I would be, man. I, yeah. I guarantee you would do it. If you were alone in, in the Bellagio. Fuck. With, Leo, Leo would not have me back dude, I don't think you need the drugs to be funny, bro, to be honest. No, I really don't. I think you, you, like, you could be like a jackass type guy for us and just like take, you, know, you could be, you're kind of a tank, if I'm being honest. Yeah. You're kind of like a physical beast. So we should be able to like fuck you up a little bit, slapstick st- type stuff. And like, mm-hmm. you don't need any drugs to, to do that. Like, Fine. can we recreate you know I mean? your prison stay for a video? Correct. Can there I, we go. What a what great if we do idea. All time, dude. Uh, in fact, it would be really fun to, to run Dino the casting. Time, yeah. Dude, can you imagine running a casting call with oh, just huge gingers? Dude, we got to, oh. we, we got to fucking, we got to relive his trauma so that he can Ooh. make peace with it. There we go. And we just got to get huge gingers off. Ratic Jr. <laughs> likes this idea. And we got to get, we we're like, hey, dude, you do, we're going to have to paint a swastika on you. Right. And you got to have a big dick. Yeah. So we need to see that. Or if he has a small dick, but he's still a six foot six junior, we can oh, just yeah. like put some ginger. Right? We can just put some Play Doh over his penis. Can you, can you tell Ian to make uh, a Craigslist ad just saying, like, it, pay him kind of a decent wage? Say it's for a short film. Yeah. But you need to be like a, a, a six foot three ginger or yeah. plus, uh-huh. and you're going to have to do full frontal. Yeah. But you'll, it'll pay like 250 bucks will be good. I some think. boxing experience preferred. Preferred. Yeah. Preferred. <laughs> and you have to be ready to make real contact. We'll wrap oh, your yeah. hands. Oh, yeah. We'll wrap your hands, but yeah. you got to fucking hurt somebody. <laughs> And you got to make him do push-ups. I think Bailey could pull it off. 
Bailey would be good. Bailey's cock's yeah, probably not big enough. Bailey would be great. But yeah. Yeah, but we, uh, I don't think he would do it, to be honest. Like, I feel like he would be like, nah. I, I think he would do it. it. Maybe not the full naked, frontal. He'd he wouldn't naked. get naked. That's what I'm he saying. He would beat Rat Dick up. He though. would beat Rat Dick up, but we need him to show the naked. Dick, you know, we got to show up, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we get a lot of ideas here. The Crip Mac premiere is unbelievable. We have you getting the shit beat out of you by an actor to simulate your prison experience. And yeah, we'll get you ready for a coming race war too. That'll be part of the short film. Mm -hmm. This is going to be great. Yeah, you know, Crip Mac, I might have been following him around all day and trying to get him to come to the sesh with me and, you know, you know, but I think we have a chance to become good friends, you know. Rajik, I, I do, you do have a, a clout chasing gene to you. It maybe seems maybe it like, was clout chasing a little bit. I was just like, oh. But I'm confused why you latched onto him. Because as far as I understand, there were a lot of famous people there. <laughs> Shirley's was there. You know, that was, yeah, that was Shirley's. Like, you got him. You've got Adam 22. Adam 22. Were you not trying to get down with Adam 22? You know, I, I tried. I talked to him a little bit, but he just seemed very focused on the black dudes and Crip Mac. Yeah, and, I can't imagine during a production he wanted to have anything to do with you. Yeah, I was naked. <laughs> as far as like, like he's trying to work out a show and Radtick's buzzing in his ear about dude, like, dude, I, come to the sesh with me. Bro, I think he had a man <laughs> keeny, bro. He he's, probably kind of smelled like, you, a little you bit would too. be the guy that brought a bong though. So he, he knew he knew about my bong. Uh -huh. So he, yeah, was up. And you showed him your dick? I I tried to, you know, he really didn't want to see it. You know, I I I tried to show Lena and him the dick at the end, but they were just like, no, no. <laughs> They they were just like nah. Well, do they yeah. seem fed up? Would, would fed up? I, I showed the dick to um, the cameras at the end, and you know, so there was. I, I explained them. You know, That's great. This is why they fucking call me Rad to grow up. And I really wish I could have showed you know Lena and Adam, but there was just so many people around, and it would have been. I, I think it would have been just. It would have gone bad. I already grabbed her ass, but exposing myself to her that would have been. You know, just I disagree. Level. I feel like that would have been better than yeah. grabbing her ass. I think exposing yourself would have been slightly better. Yeah. So Ratic, well, they kind of told me like, "Yo, give give her a hug." And I was just like, "All right, bam, damn." Man. <laughs> well, I if they bring Ratic Ralph in, they got to expect this sort of shit. I don't really know how to hug a lady like that. Ratic, would you? Because I've heard that you would. Would you pull an Adam Twenty Two and? Uh, For profit, would you let Jason Love, BBC, have sex with Rat Pussy Pam? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You would? Rat Pussy Pam's allowing me to become a porn star, so it's only fair if I allow her to become a porn star. Can we star. pull up Jason Love's penis, Austin? Oh, uh, no. Obviously, don't put this on the actual... Hopefully, little junior dick's not the star. I think, Danny, I think what's even better is we just get a, <laughs> a, a giant, a black... Jason dude. Love LUV, I believe. Jason I think, loves cock. I think Danny we or I could be wrong. Maybe it's spelled normal. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's there we go. Cool. Let's let's pull up a couple more windows here. What the here. fuck is he putting? What was that, dude? Ah, oh, what, what the hell? hell? <laughs> that's fucking Rat Dick, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Would you let? Would you she let? She is going to be very disappointed when she comes back to me. That's all I gotta say. You know. That might puncture Rat Pussy Pam. Yeah, what, if, what if Rat Pussy she's Pam... Gonna, she's getting inseminated, that's for sure. What if just like, uh, she's like, it popped her and like Cheetos fell out? <laughs> oh, oh my God. That is just a ridiculous <laughs> joke, Danny. I, like, hot, hot Cheetos? Maybe. Yeah, maybe Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos like she was huh? stuffed like packing peanuts. <laughs> like that many Hot Cheetos. I'll have you know she is a lovely Latina woman, all right? And she's not full of Cheetos. <laughs> All right, she's not full of Cheetos. All right. Is there... Yeah, so let's go back to the cocks. Let's look at a couple more, Austin. Rat Dick, I, I want you to see. I think, Danny, what we do is is this. Our, uh, dude, okay. Ooh, Rat Dick. Jason Love. Do you let us film an episode where you're basically Adam 20... Dude, I don't, I don't even want to see this anymore, <laughs> bro. You're, you're, Adam, you're Adam 22, and like you got to be like in the other room, and like we'll have like a, like a some footage, but it's never going to be shown. But me, you, and Danny react to you to to rpp getting plowed by a black man yeah. i don't think it's gonna be jason love him to be honest i don't, I don't think, think we can get him, him. we can't well, get him but we could get giant black i think i can we, find we a, throw a dart on hollywood boulevard and find another guy. Yeah. we'll <laughs> test him would you let us i feel so broken would you let us do that or not because i mean you let two fans railer when you weren't yeah, even I, I, click I, that I, click that I, one I, I, that, that girl's hot bro. Dude, that girl's Whoa. hot jason love getting some dude this is gonna be rat pussy dude who is that girl that girl's hot Anything for the boys, but it just, would be for the boys. We can assure you of that. But you no, know, I'm gonna my little rat is gonna be very you know hurt. But I'll I'll, I'll kind of go through it because I'm gonna be a porn star too. Would you, you know? actually let us do that? What are we gonna pay you? Like yeah, well, yeah we, I, we would pay you a good amount. Yeah, I mean, if I'm I'm pimp, know, so, good, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm pimp here. So I gotta think my my pimp rate. And I don't know what would be your rate for that to happen. 
It would be a, a slightly handsome black man that we find. We we will STD test him, and then we just all sit around and kind of react to him fucking RPP. Shit. I mean, I'm not gonna overcharge the boys, of course. Thank you. you know, so like, what, like seventy five bucks something like that. I mean, I was thinking at, at least like a few hundred bucks, maybe like four hundred bucks. <laughs> four hundred bucks. Yes, dude, my absolutely done. Done. Done, dude. What if we can make all this happen? Five hundred. I'll 500. I'll chip into it. Five hundred. This girl is so hot, dude. I, but you can cl- stop. You can close this is fucking me up. Yeah. 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 Bucks, yeah. That looks like all the hot. That looks like every girl in Beverly Hills. She looks Persian. That bro. is a giant cock. But Jesus, you can click stop. this off, Austin. Austin God damn it. Okay, right, Dick. I, All right, so for real, you're gonna let us do that? Can you can you run it by her? Can I you call her right now and confirm for, that she would be down? It's for the boys. For yeah, you're right. That's no, for the boys, for, uh, dude. But would she boys. be down? She would be down. Is she willing I, to become a porn star? I get it right. No, she doesn't. Down. No, no, no. She the video will never go on the internet. It's just gonna you and me and Danny are gonna oh, watch shit. it. And that's it. Oh shit! So I was really hoping she become a porn star though. No, no, no. We can do that too. Crip Mac. If she wants to watch it too, Crip Mac will watch it. That hits it. What? If it could be Crit Mac is the one. Oh, that would dude, that's the greatest video ever made. Crit if Mac we if bam. we play the the short film, but at the end we go, wait up, before you kill him, <laughs> this is what we did for you, Crit Mac, and it's a video of black guy pounding his chick with us reacting to it. That would be the greatest video in the Or what if Crit Mac fucks for Pussy Pam, dude? Dude. That would I fucking mean, break the internet. It is Crit Mac, so Dude, see what I'm saying? He's I'm, gonna just like, of, I'm gonna get a lot of fucking Would you say Crit Mac and like Timothy Chalamet, who's, who's, who's like, yo, Crip Mac fucked a girl that's lit, bro. Like, we're dude. So you'd rather have Crip Mac fucker than Timothy than Chalamet? Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. He's gonna be Willy Wonka, dude. I don't. Oh, really? That's the Willy Wonka? Yeah, he's the new Willy Wonka. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. I mean, the Willy Wonka. Fuck. Come on, dude. I don't know, You're gonna man. be a Hollywood sellout like that? Uh, you gonna go Crip Mac all I'll day? Crip Mac all day, boy. <laughs> Took the street. We represent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is the greatest video of all time. So remember, boys, send me I, those N-bomb videos yeah. again. I'm going to say it right now, I would much rather have Crip Mac fuck my girlfriend than Timothy Chalamet. Because yeah, Timothy Chalamet is going to steal your bitch, dude. Yeah, that's true, bro. He's Timothy gonna, Chalamet, you are not any, getting your chick back. And the rapper's just going to be scared when Crip Mac walks in. She's going to be like, I'm going to fuck you, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, he might have a big yeah. cock, but I feel like he's so otherwise um, not what women are, are dying yeah. for. That I feel like Timothy Chalamet is the obvious no no. Would she? Well, you, you said we'll Crip Mac was saying he was gonna fuck Lena in the ass. Yeah, the whole that's his, that was his line. That's crazy. Fuck her asshole. <laughs> Damn. We'll put dude. it in her asshole. Yeah. I would her love asshole. to see that. That's hmm. I don't know if he's done an anal scene before. So with Crip Mac, I know yeah. Adam Twenty Two was banging her in the ass. Lena. Yeah. Uh, she hasn't done anal besides him, probably right. I am not too sure. Well, she's know? only fucked one guy, so yeah. obviously no, right? Yeah, yeah it's not, obviously not. Yeah. On camera? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if Adam's fucked her in the ass on camera. He definitely fucks her in the ass off camera. Um, yeah, I think he might have consummated the marriage anally in uh, Italy. Wow. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that's Some for him, he, Do you even know? I mean, for poor guy, I, Adam, I feel sorry for him because, like, what is he, like, what could he possibly be into at this point? He does everything mm-hmm. with hot chicks, and it's like, what else is there? Yeah, he doesn't strike me as that much of a sexual deviant. It doesn't seem like he's clamoring for more. It no. seems like he enjoys a hot chick every now and then, can acknowledge that a chick's hot, and he probably doesn't mind that he gets to fuck them. But it's not like, um, I feel like he's not shaking in having withdrawals if he goes a week without doing a plug talk scene with a, exactly. fucking, with a bimbo chick. Yeah, exactly. He seems like maybe he's... That's what they take. They, I mean, Delia's pod. When I listened to it a lot, when he was right coming off of his uh, the sexual allegations or whatever, were you living vicariously through him? Because it was course. basically you. It was basically me, but w- probably significantly worse because he was a much bigger superstar, obviously. But he had some crazy allegations, crazier allegations, I'll say. But they're not whatever. Um, but he was talking about on the pod about having going to therapy for sex addiction, and it was really all about. Her, like kind of expanding your horizons. So I feel like Adam 22, maybe that's what he's, he's done. He's expanded to cuckolding a little or whatever, or he's like, he has interest in other things. He wants to get really super rich. You know, there's a lot of, he's expanded his horizons and maybe he's not, I, I don't, I don't think he's, well, he's got a Adam. business to run. He's got a business, a big yeah, business to a run. Big business makes a lot of money. No it's jumper. Like, right. So I guess that probably, that takes a lot of your energy and that sexual energy, you need it in order to make a business run and you can't just be fucking yeah. shooting loads everywhere. I will say this when you're in a relationship, me at least it was pretty easy to turn off the, 
the roving eye. Yeah. It was easy to, there was no scrolling Instagram. There was no like going to the explore page. There was no going to the strip club. There was no going out to bars and chatting girls up. Mm -hmm. So when you take yourself out of those situations, when you just have a cold turkey, that's why it's way easier to go cold turkey, no drinking, than to limit to yourself to like, okay, only one drink a night. True. It's way easier to go cold turkey on shitty food versus dabble in Cheetos in the afternoons. Correct. Same thing with pussy. Mm. I think that helps too. When you're in a relationship, it's it's like being in jail. You come to terms with, I'm not getting any more pussy. Yeah. And that makes it easier. But when I'm single now, like, I, I feel the draw that you feel to like, promiscuity just, yeah because it's okay now right and i feel like you're you know you're probably gifted <laughs> like a, a very pretty girl that comes your way from time to time that it's just like you are you'd have to be you like that right you'd have to be an well, idiot i'm sure danny you're, you're swimming in pussy now uh, we all want to hear about that um yeah man he, he met like a dude that was a pretty wifey type chick that you you came across in seattle let's say she's pretty dope the, I, not really. Not really. Well, I mean, I mean, I didn't come across. Yeah, well, I mean, it, you're oh, making oh, it sound like I had sex with. Oh, you know, you Seattle. barely talked to her. Yeah, but yeah. it was a nice encounter. It was sort of romantic. Well, hey, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm a romantic guy, you know. Yeah. I, I, uh, the two women might have come to our show, and one of them might have not been 21, so, so they, they left. They yeah. left. Yeah, yeah, and that's the romantic encounter that Leo's talking about. Yeah. Well, you know. There was a yeah. There was a future date set. You know, there was some visitations gonna happen. That's not true. Maybe that's not true. I'm hoping for you. Future Seattle trips. Ratic would like that. It's the heroin capital of the yeah. U.S., dude. You lit. Ratic, you do well in Seattle. Uh, hopefully not. You know, in the cold, I don't know. I think dude. we just had an uncle who like died up in Seattle from from doing uh, fentanyl. He did fentanyl. He died. Cool. You know? Well, I say we go visit his grave. Your we dad's should, brother. Yeah. Your dad's no, brother. Our, our mom. Roger, would you piss on his grave for a video? Yeah, all bad. Would you piss on his grave for a video? <laughs> My God. <laughs> I mean, he deserved it because he was so stupid, but, you know. Would you pull out your rat penis and piss on it? I think he's in, it's an urn of ashes. Yeah, it's just fill the, Would you piss on the urn? The urn you, would you make it like a fucking rat dick PT? In front of uh, my grandma, you know, it would have to be done. That would be the final straw. Like, <laughs> rat dick, you're out of here for good. <laughs> Yeah. Right, well, think, would that, you, that would make the video. You epic. would pull a Keith Richards and do a line for sure, right? I'd, I'd rail a line and fuck, I'm pissing it. Would you, would you rail a line? <laughs> yeah, come on. Rash, so yeah, that's yeah. the Keith Richards, dude. So Keith, Keith Richards took a fucking grandpa, fat rail of his dad. Uncle Dale, Uncle Dan, I mean, he's kind of. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Keith <laughs> Richards is crazy, man. He's fucking, he's the god. He was, man. Uh, So, my man, little RDR here. What a, do they kind of ever, like in a fight, does your mom ever be like, you're going to end up like your brother? Or like anybody else say something of the sort to you? No, I'm a good person. No, I know you're a good person. <laughs> what are you but saying I'm about saying, him? No, yeah, yeah. No, no, nothing <laughs> bad, nothing bad. Are you, just, you don't mess no, up that often. You don't get in a fight with all. your mom and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. There's never those kind of arguments. Like, hey, you're going to end up like your brother and stuff. No. Damn. You never have arguments they with don't, your parents. It's they don't look down on Skyler. They just... Or yeah. feel sorry for him more. They're kind of like scared of him because he's a little crazy. But really, they should be scared because we're coming out this thing is giving. I'm gonna piss in their ashes, baby. Yeah. That's what, <laughs> that's, that's, what if you hit? Would you hit your mom with <laughs> right? Like, would you hit your mom with a dick pic right now? Uh, sh- yeah, let's do it. What? Yeah, you got her number, Nolan? Let's uh, no, I'm not gonna piss at me. You would do that? I don't even have her phone anymore because I was so you doing just send that. Your dad, send your dad a dick pic again, dude. <laughs> fuck it, dude. I, I must have hit. Yeah, number. fuck him. Yeah, right? His dad's been hitting him up all the time, just saying random that he has these weird ailments that aren't even true. We he need lies. to go visit the dad. Dude, that needs to happen. We got so. I don't. Much after shit you heard, it. not if you heard the story that I heard last week, bro. Well, I think he has told it before, but. Dude, him and RPP stayed there for a night, and they had RPP and him had bed bug bites all over, and RPP had to go to the hospital. hospital. Well, we have a fucking hazmat suit. I I ordered us hazmat suits. Dude, if we go with hazmat, we can do both in in a night. Yeah, we'll go over there too. Nuts. So, Rajik, would you you send him a dick picture right now? Let's see. Let's refresh his memory. Let's jog that. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go down into Dino's bedroom, Uh, and you're going to flop your cock out. Flop isn't a generous word in your case. (laughs) You're going to touch your penis to his pillow. And you're going to send that picture. Is that okay, Dino? And so you get for dozing on the camera. All right, you got do you Do you have a picture to send? Or? I, you know, I'm sure my dad are he so does. Far in touch out of contact. I don't even know if I have his current phone number, but I could, I could, I have many dick pictures on here. What yeah. if you, what if you were to send Rat Pussy Pam a picture right now? <sighs> that, she, she'd like that. What if we do it kind of like unique though? And I give you some lines to say. Yeah. 
So. You want you want to get off camera and get totally naked right now, and I'll film it, and then yeah. we'll send it to him. Yeah, <laughs> right, cool. Okay, does the Robin fly it down? It's gonna fly it down. So Dino, just film me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, film him. Rathic, get over there off camera so we oh. can do it. <laughs> that is a dope shirt, though. I kind of want one right. with Papa are- Leo on there. So here we go, Rattic. Let me get my camera oh, up, dude. This is so. I'm so sorry, brother. <laughs> Little RTR, bro. Dude, look at that bod, though, dude. <laughs> right. Yeah, get naked, Rattic. Dude, oh, why it's you- looking good, dude. I think it looks like it grew <laughs> one size. His Yo. pubes go like all the way up his belly. <laughs> his pubes. There's like no line between his stomach and yeah. his pubes. It's all one big view. Dude. Rat, oh, rat deck, this is what you're going to do. Dude. You're going to say, Dude. I can't wait to come home and fuck that rat ass, baby. Then you're going to play with your dick. Then you're going to bend over and spread your cheek. Oh, no, dude. Okay. Hit it, uh, right? I can't wait to come home and fuck that rat ass, baby. See this oh, shit? God, See it's kind of small now? I get it's getting me around that size. This is the craziest coming. video, dude, ever. No, dude, no, no. I can't watch that. Oh, no, no. dude. And that is my rat eye. You're not going to see any of that tonight, hopefully. Oh. You want to put something in there? My God, it. dude. Guys, he did it. He did exactly what Danny said. And it was one. I didn't, I only peripherally watched it, but it was. I couldn't watch the ad. The video, dude. dude, send that to someone you hate right now, bro, because that's. <laughs> Say that to Adam Twenty Two, no, just no context, please. That would be the. It's like one of the most famous guys you know. It's so I, funny, dude. It, beco- it becomes like borderline assault when he <laughs> spreads his ass. Yeah, cheeks. it does. It does. Like, that but is no longer cool. If anyone can handle it, it's Adam Twenty Two. He can handle that shit. Yeah, just send it to Adam Twenty Two. He bro. may. Uh, he may have. He may have a very opulent party coming up. <laughs> yeah, and that may be how I get uninvited, dude. That's not true, gonna yeah. risk it. Not gonna <laughs> risk it. It's gonna be like a Gatsby. Story. Style party, and I'm going to that oh, sucker, dude. That's I'm not. Be sick, dude, I'm not man. sending him the ass. Risk that one day. <laughs> if only if he sick. hadn't spread his cheeks. Dude, or- one of my stunt buddies went to a, a Bill Zarian Halloween party in Bel Air like two years ago when it was when he still had the house. He went. He got in, bro. He Good. Got, yeah, dude, it was insane. Rihanna performed. Fucking uh, Rihanna performed. Uh, what is the the rapper? Fucking uh, Cardi B performed. And there was every Justin Bieber was there. Everybody that you could imagine. He went to like the craziest party you could go to. Tell me about this because you've been to more Hollywood parties than I have because you mm-hmm. were hanging out with Couch when Couch had an in mm-hmm. at like a cool TikToker house. Mm-hmm. The only like Hollywood or social media party I've been to was a Nelk party, but it was when they lived in Orange County, so it didn't really count. Yeah. If you went to Dan Blazarian's party, mm-hmm. I feel like the chicks there wouldn't talk to a random guy. Or, he, or, or would they assume you were somebody because you were there? I think it was, okay, he's like an understated stunt guy, and he wasn't going to dress flash or anything. He didn't, said he didn't get a lot of attention, but it was so entertaining that he didn't care. Yeah. You know, and they had just boatloads of weed around, and he's got, he loves weed, so he took like a shitload of weed from there from the house yeah. that they, they were giving out and stuff like that, so... He had a great time, but yeah, he smelled. He felt like a a little tiny guppy in a giant ocean. Sure. Yeah, he didn't. You know, it was it was very much like that. But uh, the dude, the parties that I went with Gauch were, uh, I would say, a dream come true for an older gentleman who uh, you know might be attracted to twenty to twenty three year olds. Uh-huh. You know, it was uh, dude, it was nuts. It, J- Jacob would be like, dude, you got to come with me. I'm like. You do realize, like, the oldest girl there is going to be 22 years old. He's like, yeah, perfect for you, you fucking (laughs) pervert. And I'm like, no, dude, come on. So he would drag me there. I would be older than everybody by fucking 15 years. But it was was probably, like, 60 people to 100 and 80% chicks. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's that, those parties, there is a collection of men, some of whom I know a little bit, in L.A., that they are always single because there's like all the incentives for them to settle down have been eliminated. They're already rich, so they don't need like a strong woman to stand by them when they lose their job at the factory. They are young and good looking. So it's not like, oh, the first decent looking piece of trim. I got to lock it down for life. I got to put put a ring on it. So they just go to parties like the Blazarian party you described and do I don't know if they all do drugs, but some of them certainly they do. They do drugs, yeah. Some of them certainly do drugs, and they just, like, fuck the hottest chicks. Like, um, I, an individual who 
I um, am not going to name. He told me upon first meeting that him and another individual would, and they have a very distinct name for this thing they do that I don't want to say in case they've said it on other podcasts and I'm outing them, but it's a funny fucking name. Oh God. It's, it's not the, it's not the most positive attitude toward women Mm -hmm. inherent in the name. This, this name sounds like something that rat dick would have been screaming before he beat the shit out of rat pussy. Oh my God. So they had this move. (laughs) Basically the move was they would get 20 hot Instagram chicks in the area to go to a sushi dinner pay for everything, including drinks. Everybody would get sloshed, and then they would just go back to a house and just, like, see who was down to fuck. Jesus and it was Christ. basically any of them. And they had, yeah. a, they had a really funny name for it. Oh, my God. But they would do that, like, every Wednesday, every Thursday. Damn. Yeah, man. I mean, that that could, you know, definitely doesn't lead to happiness, but it it is a pleasurable, hedonistic lifestyle. You know what I mean? That, uh, for the evening, <laughs> for the evening, you're going to be having a great time. But... Yeah, man. Yeah, a lot of, you know, the girls, you know, I don't know. Eventually, I feel like you get tired of, of these, like, girls that are just, like, the moralistically kind of, or, like, I don't know. Yeah, would down. you, Leo, would you get tired I of that? Wouldn't, I wouldn't, I yeah. wouldn't. It would take a lot. Of, it would <laughs> okay. take many years, but it, eventually. Uh, one might get tired of that, hypothetically. <laughs> it's tough, man. It's it's, it's interesting because, yeah, we clearly biologically as males, like, that's that's our, to spread the seed. It's like a, it's it's really something we can't fight biology. We can't fight nature. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. I, that is a lot. Uh, for me personally, it's uh, I have this weird the grass is always greener struggle where when I'm in a relationship, most of the everybody has this a little bit where sometimes when they're in a relationship, they're like, well, it would be fun to be single. And then when you're single, you want to be in a relationship. Yes. Yes. I you know, I've been uh, listening to uh, uh, we might be drunk a little bit and they're both my age, but they're in relationships or what Sam Burrell's not. But uh, the other one's married. I'm, I'm Mark Norman. And they have all the same problems that we have with like, it's just like, I think it's men and women, dude. It's like they all name have, one uh, what, uh, that they have. Well, kind of like, but they get bored or it's stuff like listen to a story after working all day. It's like kind of tough to listen to a story from like your chick. You know what mm. I mean? Like some kind of story. They, they talk about things like that. They get gnarly, huh? Yeah, they get gnarly. Louis CK like destroyed his marriage by just outing the details on stage and on shows. Dude, Norman talked about how he was in Germany and he had sex, like had a sex club with his wife and it was the furthest from like, they've never done anything like that. It was like crazy. It's pretty cool. They get, they get pretty open on there. Hmm. But, and that uh, he felt better about his dick when he went to a sex club in Germany nice. you know what I mean maybe because Mark Norman Germany. has an average dick yeah I think so yeah. because he's yeah I think that's what he says about it yeah he's they both they both talk about their their junks but yeah it was interesting to hear they all kind of you know also getting in trouble with shit on the pod both of them uh-huh. with their girlfriends always are getting angry yeah. about shit that they say on a pod and they're like dude I say anything on a pod man it's like it's not always going to be mm-hmm. my deepest truth mm-hmm. you know but yeah it's uh <laughs> They both kind of talk shit about like you know just the the struggles of a relationship, especially going on the road and shit like that, or a lot of you know, or, or just struggles with like when they hook up with a girl and then they don't want to hook up with them again, or they don't want to like hang out. They they all they have those kind of struggles too. They talk about a lot, a lot of that shit, dude. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. good. Yeah, hmm. it's interesting. Those guys are also very rich. They they're, are very rich. They're crushing it. I mean, they, the amount of money they must make on the road, I can't even but, imagine. Bro. Yeah, he's heat- doing Madison. Sam Rail sold out Madison Square Garden, bro. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, but the hedonistic lifestyle, yeah, living man. in the Hollywood Hills, that'd be tough. I'd get over it pretty quick, I think. I feel like most guys I've talked to who are in very, very long term relationships or are married, they're like the best situation would be I get one hall pass a year. And I'm not saying that I necessarily feel that way. I because I your your groin would very much appreciate that, but I get the fucking appeal of being in a, in a, a committed monogamous relationship and like the bond that forms and the respect you have for the other person by doing that. So I think overcoming the biological drive is completely valid. But most guys, if they were negotiating a marriage contract, it'd be like, let me go to fucking Vegas with a bag full of pills for New Year's. And then be in a faithful relationship the rest of the time. Oh, God, dude. Just a bag full of pills in New Year's. Yeah, man. It just, you know, I'm sure chicks probably feel sort of like that would be great for them, too. I don't want to think about that. You know what I mean? But they probably... Yeah. What do you think about You think Rat Pussy Pam just wants to go to Magic Mike at the at the Hard Rock Casino and get fucked by a bunch of guys? Well, most she... likely, because she's been telling me, I want you to be a porn star, but I'm going to have to be a porn star, too. So maybe that's... you know, <laughs> Even though, you know... 
I'm not going to have sex with her. Would you tell her that I want to do a, a video with her and see what she says? Oh, she would. Uh, she'd, she'd really like that. Leo. I'm sure she would. You think you could? You think you could live <laughs> yourself if you saw Rap Pussy Pam sucking Leo's on uh, I, I Why do you have to mention that like more part? than uh, than Crit Mac? To be honest, because he's you know. Thank you, bro. At least it'd be like yeah, I'm be like pretty good homie, looking. You know? I'm good looking. Who do you think you would know? give it to her better, me or Leo? Ooh, yeah. I mean, well, she does love Leo, Danny. But yeah. I made out with her. Yeah, you know. She kind of likes Danny too, though. Yeah, she liked your kissing. She said you're a great kisser. She said, you know, up here. You know how to, you know how to, you, know how to you said, she, you know her great with the tongue. You're great with the tongue. She yeah, said. I am. Imagine what I would do to her clit. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Well, we know that yeah, one of those fans sorry. ate her asshole, right? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Didn't yeah. you try to make one of the fans suck your dick, too? I, I just like, get on your fucking knees and suck my dick. That would have been so great if the guy <laughs> sucked your cock. <laughs> You're just like, nah, dude. Like, nah, I'm good. Dude, I <laughs> so <laughs> wish that man would have sucked his cock. Yeah. That was a great episode, dude. We had, we, we had him on. Dude. The guy oh, keeps hitting me up like, I miss you, bro. I'm like, I Tell don't him to come know. on the pod again, <laughs> dude. Because we're going to do it again. Dude, dude if that guy would have sucked your cock, I wish he was drunk enough. And I wish he like actually thought Rat Dick Ralph was a celebrity. Oh, and it was like, fuck it, I'll do it. That would be insane. <laughs> dude i, I uh <laughs> yeah we had fun doing that that was a funny clip in the in this video the washington clip bro but like i, I felt like you know there's a fan out there who would probably you might blow you dude oh yeah you know what i mean there's got to be a fan out there. 100 percent, dude right like, you'd probably blow me <laughs> bro, go to any of your haha comedy shows i'm sure half oh, yeah. the audience there would do it if you asked nah. next friday baby <laughs> yeah, yeah next november friday. 17th next friday if you're in LA, gonna be there oh god but don't you know right take chance <laughs> i'll be chill no chance no chance. Um, yeah, come out to if you're in LA or you want to make a trip, you know, plan a trip to LA. November seventeenth, we are having a show in LA, so come out. And then, uh, dude, you know what? What we should do though is uh, all the the comedians do a New Year show. We should do one, dude. We'll see, dude. We'll I, might, see, yeah. I might be uh, I in you, old Tennessee, dude. Oh shit! Yeah. Fucking, I don't know, but we'll see about that. Whatever happens, either way. Maybe we do it in Tennessee, dude. That'd be crazy. Fuck, that'd be a dope New Year show. Dope, yeah. in, uh, in Nashville? No. Oh, or Chattanooga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So many options. All right, guys. We should probably fucking wrap this. Let's wrap, thing. dude. Uh, thank you, guys. Join the Patreon. Danny's back on it. We're getting crazy on there. Yeah. And uh, also, thank you for watching the pod and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, follow Ratdick, you know, underscore Ralph. Ralph. And, uh, a little RDR, man. Listen, I, I pray for, for RDR sometimes, and I hope that he can one day be a, an outstanding member of your family and not a complete disappointment. If I piss in the urn, it's going to be rough. Yeah, you got to piss in the urn, though. I mean, fucking. I have to. Business comes before family. Business comes before family. (laughs) It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit.